Where we last left off, you as a party are toward, going towards the Demon's Fen to get not the last token, but second to last token. On the way there, Lamb Cannon Kanaka and Biovena's shadows were stolen by a friendly owl. After a bit of negotiation and a fight against an eclipse, you manage to get back on the road where you lost your friend Biovena and went backwards to search for him. And now, at the dawn of a new day, we are at the crossroads of whether you pursue Biovena or go towards the Demon's Fen. For they're in opposite directions. Daylight, there you go. I did not rest yet, I don't do that now. Go ahead, press your rest button, everyone. Chew on your <laughs> your rounds of healings, everyone. Yum, yum. I forgot to hold on before you use all your chargers. Fat two. Ah. <laughs> you slap him? Slap the chewing rod out of my mouth. <laughs> Not as much better. Pretty sure I only had one left because we did some channeling. So, Sometimes it does not like the the button. Sometimes it do be like that. I got you. Bam, look at that. Thank you. You can also <laughs> right click yourself. Uh yeah, if if you right click yourself and uh in your health bar, just hit plus whatever. Finally loaded. <laughs> well welcome here. So <clears throat> Biovena is in the opposite direction of where you last seen him travel. Demon's Fen, the other direction. What are you going to do? Obviously. We have to get Bio. Anyway, since we're on our way to the Demon's Oh, so sorry, what were you saying, Lamp? Well, we're already mostly there, right? We just need to find him. Are we almost there, though? Towards finding Beal, that is. Sorry. Well, how do you know that? Where is he? That, that is what I'm saying. We have to finish finding him. We've already put in you know, the effort to, to backtrack. Is that what we've been doing? Yeah. Are we going towards the demon fen now? We're just walking aimlessly. <laughs> <laughs> You're no longer walking. Where are we going now? <laughs> As <you> saw... <laughs> we realized we're walking aimless. <laughs> Walking aimlessly is kind of what we do here. I've just sort of been walking around waiting for things to happen in this realm. Seems to work well enough here. The rules are like that. Because Bio was more or less directing us. Mostly less. But sometimes more. <laughs> What if we go to Demon's Fen and we find out Bio is right next to where the Walking Fortress is? I have a strong doubt that that is the case. Yeah. But he was fatigued, and though he may have walked all night, he could not have gotten that far. Oh, there's that too. He doesn't have his shadow, so even if we find him, we have to drag our feet just to get him to where we're trying to go. Maybe. I stole that owl's needle and thread, so if I can figure out how to use it, what he was doing. Hmm. 
And I have his shadow. Honestly, not sure. It seems like this needle and thread just glues things together. <clears throat> well, either way, Vin, if, uh, if you don't mind, I know you were a I very need survivor, expert. right? Huh? He's a survivor, so... Eventually he'll get stuck in some kind of sticky situation. It's not like we could take him to the real world after we're all done here anyway. <laughs> How do you know? Never say never. I'm not looking after him. Wait. He's got, like, a wife here. Why would he want to go? Well, either way, he's been part of a group. And I have a very strong feeling that his story with us is not done, yeah? Alright, fine. So, I look up at Vin. Yeah. Well, can I try to take <laughs> off Lampkin's shadow eyes? while he's while they're talking? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> or at least Theo's. <laughs> using the needle and thread, right? Yeah, I'll just like crouch down behind him and see if I can use the needle to like yeah. poke the shadow away. So it off. the magic item doesn't really work like that. It seems yeah. as though it was the catalyst of what he was using his powers for, his story given powers. All you manage yeah. to do is probably tie a, a grain a grain of dirt to the back of his heel other than <laughs> that nice but yeah other than that you cannot remove lambkin shed <laughs> too bad looks like you're stuck with two shadows huh it, I will look back just in her <laughs> You remember, you do have Biovena shadow in your shadow. <laughs> Isn't that grand? Yes, we are connected by one. Let, let just, I'm not good with plans, but let me make sure I get ours. We find Bio, hopefully. Who knows how far away he is from where we're trying to go. We have to pass through Hoot Hoot's forest again so we can get your shadow attached to him. We and then the that, whole we? time we're dragging our feet because Beal's gonna be tired the whole time. Just scare him. He's a big boy. It's not like it giving you fine. a ride. He's he's made of wax. When was the last time you actually touched him? Uh never. Exactly. Don't even know how much he weighs. He's made of wax. But wax. still, again, he was tired, and though he may have walked through the night, uh, this is difficult terrain. But not for us. For us, we are very speedy. So long as Vin helps. And again, I look up at Vin, puppy dog eyes. All right, we'll what? find him. Big tadpole eyes. Tadpole eyes. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to anything he said. He wants to find Biovene with your spell. That's that fair. Lets, that lets us move quickly through all of What magic? Things. I can't cast magic. Magic's not real. No, the, the thing you do, how, how you expertly navigate through all this. It's under not magic, it's only skill. All right, I, I believe it. All this time I thought you were a wizard. Hey me, it's Peshka. What's Peshka? The wizard. Oh. oh, that's why you don't eat him. No, I've I've heard about Peshka. It is some sort of drug they have in Katapesh. Ben, if you're doing drugs and you think the drugs give you magic powers. It's not how it works. If 
I'm just saying we'll have a better chance of finding them if uh, you don't look for them. That makes perfect sense to me. Whoa. Is that <laughs> magic knowledge? That's just how the story goes. He gets himself in trouble and waits for his friends to save him. Hmm. See, Lampkin, everything's going to be fine. To the demon spin. Vin is my font of knowledge, but Vin also <laughs> burned like five harrowing cards. Oh, whoa, 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 we don't <laughs> talk about that. He's never <laughs> going to use the cards again if you bring that up. Hmm. Something on your mind, Lampkin? <laughs> Go ahead. Say it with your chest. I'm good. I'm just saying, Vin. It seems to be 50-50, your understanding of how this realm works. And I don't truly believe that we may just run into him. He can't be that far. Think about it, Lamkin. How do we run into him the first time? He was at the circus, where we were. Yeah, he ran into us. Kind of thrown at us, but or did we literally land on him? No. Did we already encounter? Yeah, I'm just as I say, like with my hands in Vin's pocket, just like sifting through the Harrow top cards. Do, do we already encounter a juggler? Was that giant juggling in that bear pit? Yeah, it seems, uh, seems pretty uncanny, right? Perhaps we should have played that card. Oh, oh well. Yeah. Anyway. No, I think there are several cards from our early adventures that did not get played. For instance, I think the Betrayal. It was probably when we uh, saw what happened to uh, what's her face? Not Theron Ray. It's not Ray. Yeah. Ah, see, that's what he Theron. said. <laughs> <laughs> what's the difference? Well, are you guys going to the demon sign? Demons, Ben. It's really Demons up to <laughs> it's really up to Vin here, because Vin's the only Fuck. one who could choose. Fuck the Avena. Dio Demons, Ben. No, we'll run into him again. Yeah, Vin, I believe it. I have no choice but to believe with my heart that what Vin said is true, and we'll just run into him. All right. Lo and behold, you'll never see him again. <laughs> the last time you saw him, you still walked away. <laughs> just walked away. Just... <laughs> God, if the last time we, <laughs> the last time we see him is honestly, we just like <laughs> telling us wait. <laughs> Didn't even get to say goodbye. <laughs> A great way to write out the end of a character, just like, <laughs> you walk away from him. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> never see his ass again. his wife was on the moving castle. <laughs> oh, man, but then, then it's extra tragic if we go out of our way to find him. And then he's all like, ah, who are you guys? Yeah, that's even more tragic. To the demon friend. I'm Biovena, and I've never met you in my life. I'd feel kind of bad if that's the end of this story with like our adventure because, I mean, how what a, what an awful story. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I walked around with some people. <laughs> he was he was you know, Biovena was at least always here, longer than some of us. Just saying. <laughs> I would feel a lot less guilty of killing the unicorn goblin. 
<laughs> on, our, on our way to the demon spin in the All mist. Right. He got tired and fell behind, and we left him. The end. <laughs> the end. God. <sighs> right. So, you make what? your way. All right, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, just gonna one last, one last attempt. Talking to Vin. I know. Like, yeah. Are you really sure, Vin? Because it is oh, essentially the what... give it up, <laughs> the... it's it's what we said last time. He asked us to wait, and we said he'll catch up, and then he never did. He never did. It's not about him catching up, Lampkin. Vin, right, Vin. no follow up to that one. I he haven't just wandered off, probably looking for his non-existent wife. I haven't asked for many favors, Finn. But just this one. I never I'll asked for nothing. <laughs> I'll be in your debt. You want cigarettes? I'll buy them. <laughs> yeah, I have infinite magical cigarettes. You just press this button at the bottom of your UI. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Oh, this. I see. Thank you. That can't be good for plants. Sorry, I don't have lungs. <laughs> it's just glued to your mask. Yeah. So, Vin, is there any way I could convince you? Anything, Wink? Hmm. <laughs> How much time you want to waste on it, man? How long has it been? It's Can't been a day. Yeah. I'm just saying, the math says the man was fucking fatigued. And he would have been wandering for what? A day? Maybe he doesn't sleep, man. But aren't we going at like four times his speed if we do the the what's it? Just a two day excursion. Where he's traveling. A two day excursion. Two days. And we might not even need the full two days. And you're so skilled. So fast. Knowledgeable. <laughs> God, what a brown noser, Lampkin. What, what's what's gotten into you? It's called caring about my friends. Also, guilt because I didn't care about my friend enough to stop. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could look for a little while, if it'll put Lampkin's mind at ease. It's not like we're really on a time crunch or anything, right? Besides, who could resist that charm? Well, except for the inevitable decay of this world, but, you know, that's probably happening on a millennia timeline. Yeah, what, what, what's, what's, is it going to die in a week? Strong doubt. The subliminal global warming insert. <laughs> <laughs> World's dying, but we're okay. It's not gonna happen in our life. Yeah, that, that's a problem for the story kid in three generations. <laughs> hey. Alright. Let's find him. So, you turn around, give me a survival check to begin tracking him. And for this first part, I do a dance. An encouraging dance. A dance that will give you a plus four to your roll. I don't think that works for a check that takes, like, hours. <sighs> Alright. 
I play encouraging music instead of actual magical enchantment. <laughs> if it takes minutes, he could do it. It's just, you know, he'll be out. <laughs> Nature's Path for speed, visualization of the mind for check bonus. Alright, Kanaka, get that Aiden. Give him that sweet plus two. 35. <laughs> uh, I gotta go pick up my brother. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. If I need to keep rolling survival, just roll for me. Yeah. Plus five from visualization of the mind. Sure. Good luck. I'm finding man. Well, let's see if you actually do here. Survival... So, <laughs> moment of greatness. I did it. <laughs> right. So let us go to the map. You all are here. Mm. You should be going there, but instead, the tr the direction of the trail you're following heads northward. Well, it seems as though you're able to find the trail. The trail becomes progressively harder to follow. As the... The briar, the tangled briar, constantly is shifting and moving about. While a lot of landmarks stay the same, a lot of things like broken twigs, branches, footstep, uh, footprints, they will all... they fade rather quickly with the shifting forest. So it gets harder. Also, let me move Bio then. But you're on this trail. You travel eight hours. At land speed, so it should be. After eight hours, you're about there. <clears throat> Do you continue to pursue? Or would you like to change course? He's not here to say now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, guess, I guess you continue to pursue. Wouldn't it get progressively easier to find him since... His tracks are like time sensitive. His more fresh tracks would be easier to find. <laughs> no, because it's harder to see the tracks. Ah. Yeah, but we're hot on this trail. Sure, if you so I believe. Oldest tracks would fade faster than the newer ones. I don't fade, and the the forest is covering them. Branches right. that were once broken are being repaired. Footprints are being reformed and rebuilt. What's his bonus? A five, he said? A visualization of the mind? How long does that last? It lasts... 24. Alright. Still has it. 31 this time around. We could also push on. Could have pushed on. Travel for 10 hours. Get some complaints from Seven. <laughs> you still need to make a new check, right? On the eight hour mark, still a new check. But you managed to, to get wind this direction for another eight hours. Couldn't have randomly went the right direction. <laughs> That's not <laughs> how random works. God. Oh, it's not. Random doesn't have a chance to go the right direction. 
So, <laughs> another eight hour passes and you're there. And actually, you probably might not be there. Let me look at his spell list. Feel better has spells? No. Vin's spell list for nature's path doesn't only last eight hours. Meaning, you're back. Bye. We cast it again, right? He doesn't have it prepared again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got it. Coming at one force back at forest speed, everyone. You're there. Far you made fatigued man gone. So, <laughs> you didn't make it far that far. <laughs> that was. You didn't make it that far at that time, and it's been 16 hours. You are all getting tired and are fatigued. And if you do not rest, you'll continue all fatigued. How about it? Are we resting? This was day one of search <laughs> day for Theo. <laughs> Question in my absence, did we find out if trackless dearth was traversable or like faster to get to one side than to the other? At Tra all? No, you did not find that out. And you but you did find out that the trackless dearth is impossible to navigate without a guy. Yeah, we need that guy. Ah. Uh, you can't actually if Beovena actually goes there, it's done. If <laughs> he walks off there, it's done for him. So but he obviously, I don't know that he would, right? Sure. Like, man's been alive for hundreds of years. He'd be dead by now if he did that. Uh, quick question on Harrowing cards. When we play them, does the card just, like, dissipate and magic pixie no. dust? No. It's still, the, it, you still have it. It's still there. It's just inert of its magic. Oh, I see. So if, if I pull the survival card and go like, ah, be a... Bill, Bill. Nothing happens. Nothing happens except you looking at an em <laughs> at a magic list card. <laughs> a sad at scene. You, <laughs> at least you'll always have a, a his likeness. Yeah. So I I do uh, I try to use it as a pokeball once. Like Bill, I choose you and yeah, pull the <laughs> card. Throw it on the ground. <laughs> so do you guys want to rest tonight, or do you want to push through the night? Can we short rest to get rid of fatigue? No. D and D. He's gonna keep going. You think? You think there's fucking short resting? Yeah. Our whole plan here is dependent on Vin, and if he's out of that nature's path spell, once he rests, he'll get it back again. <laughs> yep. He ain't like, yeah, he needs that rest. Oh yeah, we do get the speed of that. Yep. That treats it as if it was a road instead of a dense ass forest. <laughs> The densest, of course. Alright, I've been rest again. <clears throat> I'm not here to gamble Vin's character, right? So I won't prepare more of it. Because he could want his other spells at any moment. Mm -hmm. Didn't he say to just do it again? I thought, uh, I thought I heard him say that. Yeah, he'll do it again the next day. But it, the, he has to, if you want to... He can prepare more than one nature's path today. Uh, However, he would, because look how long it's going to take us to get back to Demon. Well, one of these he needs, right? He actually can't survive without Ant Hall constantly on him. <laughs> he, he can't actually survive as a human being without that. Oh, he's so weak. Alright, I'll prepare two. Alright, so you have a normal resting pattern. Two. So you have 16 yeah. hours and then an 8 hour rest. We're on, we're on fucking Beovena Gaiden. That was, this was it. Was search <laughs> party time, it. man. <laughs> Alright. Give me... I right, guess the roll again, right? Because he is rested. Okay. He proceeds once again. And then Kanaka, roll two. You can't hinder him, you can only help. Plus two. Not even a roll. Oh no, if you do survival and you roll above a 10, he gets a plus 2. Oh, survival? 
Yeah. Moment of greatness, I think. Doesn't actually do anything for him right now. Isn't that the plus two, though? No, it's no, if it's you morale. have a morale bonus, which is not what he, what he has or does. Oh, I see, I see, yeah, I see. see. Yeah, so because he beat that 10, it's a plus two. Well, in that case, um, got Gaiden. Competence bonus. Does he, is he using a competence bonus? Wait, how do I show this roll to everyone? All right. <laughs> There's Vin's roll. A oh, plus Yikes. five to that. Plus five to that is going to be 23 for Vin. And then plus two from Kanaka, 25. 25. <laughs> Give him everything. Give him everything. I'll fucking dance. You need me to dance? I think he might need you to dance. All right. So <laughs> hmm. continue this way, apparently. Traveling eight hours in that direction. Alright, I've returned to consciousness. How's it going? Ooh, uh, you don't want to tell him. <laughs> mm. Someone else tell him what's happening? We've wasted 16 hours and we're about to waste 16 more. I oh, know, you rested again. You wasted oh, yeah, 24. so we've wasted 24 hours and we're about Plus... to waste 24 more. V. Alright. If Recon Report, day one, <laughs> we're out on his trail. We're on his trail. <laughs> right. Also, know, you, you seemed really confident about it. <laughs> uh, for a heads up for your character sheet, I prepared Nature's Path twice today. Right? You don't because have to you... because I have pearl power to do it with. Uh, I didn't know that that does. <laughs> Last time I brought pearl power, she said, "Oh, refreshes." Got it. Yeah. Oh, give me another survival check. I'll move you... I'll, I'll advance you another. Survival oh, check. He's, he's is that with plus five? Playhouse. Yep. Plus five. Kanaka! And also, I'll burn all my dancing. We're getting it above a 30. How many days has it been? Yeah, it's been two days in total, so the DC has increased. With Kanaka's plus two, that is a 29, and then plus four for my dance. Because I burn all my rounds. So 20 plus 11, 31, plus two days, 33. What's your total? Just above that. <laughs> I think 33, actually. 33. All right, welcome to the th You got 33. So you, you are heading in the wrong direction in the last check. <laughs> and you realize that he cut through the Midnight Circus. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. Last session, I was even like, "What if he just ends up back at the midnight circus?" <laughs> sure, but you, you cut across right to where he'd be this way. All right, sixteen hours. Do you rest or do you continue through the night? God, I hate this so much. <laughs> well, you're back no longer a little me. favor. <laughs> I'll just edit this in the VOD, just be like, <laughs> two days later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is we completed our Alkenstar Triangle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you did that. It's kind of like a hook pattern, you know? It was like, <laughs> like that. All right, uh, we're at the Midnight Circus. I put up a big sign, right? There's nobody outside, right? Like, it's just... There's no one outside. 
the the corpses the wax corpses of, of the crows are even less of wax so you put out the sign looking for this man no one's at the circus he, he's not at the circus either no the message is actually for bo on the off chance that uh, okay. he comes back here in his random fucking wanderings what language do you is... write it in oh, <laughs> what shit that's a yeah, what language do you write it in? Common. Common? Okay. Yeah. But See. I mean, there are signs and shit here at the circus, right? Uh, yeah, there's Midnight Circus signs. What language are they in? Uh, anyone speak Tass <laughs> Ancient Thessalonian? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, so Vin can tell you that's Ancient Thessalonian. Oh. Uh... Of course, I speak uh, ancient Thessalonian. <laughs> Vien, I I dropped out of ancient Thessalonian at the Bardic College <laughs> in Teldorf, but uh, if you don't mind, let's leave a message for Bio here. Fate seems to keep bringing him back. Chances are he'll be back. Yeah, sure, Len. Can anything to bring you comfort? I appreciate your understanding. <laughs> do you do that, Vin? But yeah. Okay. Vin writes you nice Thessalo <laughs> ancient Thessalonian hieroglyphs. Yep. Uh, you know what? What happens if, like, we start graphing the story? Meet us at the mobile fortress. And then he just, he's there. And he could be like, that, that, that thing where he deus ex machina comes in. He's like, I got your man. We'll take you... 12 times divided by 3. It'll take you a day and a half if you guys rest to get to the demon's pen. Okay. Okay. So 1.5 days later, you're back on track to the demon's pen. Literally. 1.5 days later. Made it. Well, technically, it's all been the same day. It has not become night once during your journey, so. Right. Blame the TikTok. Blame your story. <laughs> BL's right in front of us, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> he is right there. So. <clears throat> As you get inch closer to the demon's fen, the starlight fog that trails along your feet grows thicker as you get to the lake until you arrive. You see in the far path before you a giant winged serpent crying crying prismatic tears forming a rainbow puddle at its waist. The world is yours to do as you want. That sounds like a card I've seen before. Yes, I think that's actually just the winged serpent. The rainbow card, right? No, the wing. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> it does raise the question do we play the card as soon as we identify the situation? Or do we play it whenever it seems convenient? Play it willy nilly. Alright, Kanaka, I place this card in his hand. I play it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you play the winged serpent card. It sparkles yes. and shoots out. And the crying winged serpent sparkles. Easy. Let's go. Well, seems like you're correct on that. 
Does it come up again if I if I play it? Just because we have a lot of cards we've played that aren't getting crossed out. And it's fucking me up. It's very interesting. You could just press the minus button instead of actually playing it. No, I don't want, I don't want to do that. Well. <laughs> 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 Should you press it again? <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can press it. Double spark. <laughs> Got it. Well then. The winged serpent is sparkling. And you are at the swamp. Or the fen. So? Do we... Oh. Yeah, first off. Yeah. What? Is it evil? <laughs> Do you detect evil? Yes. Yes, it is evil. Oh. So? He's a wuss. Stop crying! Stop being a wuss! <laughs> oh, that's toxic. He's it? being really toxic, Link. Yeah, we, had, we had a whole after-school special about bullying. And Kanaka was part of it. Went right over his head. I'm literally a boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> that why I was raised. You approach, and you hear her mumbling to herself. In shadows deep, the world weeps. The dirge of sorrow, where life's lost cheek. Brothers against brothers. <laughs> Darkness unfurled. A tragic tale of a world at war. The sadness <laughs> that kills each other. <laughs> I, write, I write this down. And she begins continuing once again, writing more lines and proses to this dirge. Oh, this is good shit. Is it drunk? It... Talking <laughs> nonsense. It's not nonsense. Prose. Knowledge history about what? What do you think? Oh. The story what of the, the winged serpent? Yeah. You guessed it. <laughs> it's a story, alright. Well. So the winged serpent is a lawful good wisdom card, as I recall. So let me scroll down to. Wisdom. All right. You actually see a physical element of the story. The story of the winged serpent is a story of knowledge and prudence that is br that is kept separate by a bridge of understanding the story literally translates th translates this literally with a bridge that is guarded and kept by a winged serpent however <clears throat> with lambkins detect evil you know that the story of the Winged Serpent was that she was a character of good. Well, this is evil, this Winged Serpent. I thought his Detect Evil didn't show up as evil. No, it okay. showed up as evil. Oh. And it doesn't seem to be a 
misaligned either, right? The story of misalignment has to do with the see the opportunity of seizing the bridge is not at the right timing, and it literally doesn't seem as though that's happening right now. It seems as though she's evil for reasons that you don't know why. For reasons, Kanaka's about to find out. All right, what is Kanaka? she going to do? Ask us, ask us riddles? I suppose we want to go across, right? I don't know. So, wait, who's the... We know the conspirator of Demon's Fen, right? I don't think we do. No, that was the one that you don't know. You know the name. The name is the Radiant Soul. But you don't well, know who that person looks seems like. It's pretty radiant. It's crying rainbows. It's gotta have radiant innards, right? Hey, are you a conspirator? <laughs> no, hold just a moment. <clears throat> you know me by my title? Haha! <laughs> or my former title? I was once a conspirator, yes. Well, but so I... Not no. I deeply regret what I've done to the sage. I did not know what pain it would bring me. With the understanding of how cruel this world is. Yeah. World sucks. There's no good food. Oh, <laughs> the world sucks so... <laughs> You speak such true words, dear alligator. Thanks. I'm a lizard man, but I accept. Oh, I can't even get that right. That's okay. You got a token you don't want anymore either? Like I said, I am no longer a conspirator. I gave the bard's heart away. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. To whom? <laughs> to only those to those who could bear its sadness. The dead. Those who cannot feel ever again. <laughs> Over yonder. On that island, across the lake, in the center of the lake, you see the bridge connects to a single island that is illuminated by multicolored fireflies springing up. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. I bet you mustn't go there. Uh -huh. for, for the heart of the Barrow King. <laughs> this burden so that those who are living that cannot bear his pain shall surely perish. And I don't want you to die. <laughs> this world is already cruel enough. That's okay. Can you go get it for us? No, I can't. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I have to ask. What is it that you have seen? What has the world done to hurt you so? <laughs> Don't you know? I guess you don't. Only the compassion that was gained from Sonare's heart could know the pain of this world. Or of your world. The world outside. Wars are waged. Famine is widespread. Revolution fought for nothing. 
lords enslaving others. Devils and demons walk your land. And you live on nothing more than a ticking time bomb. <laughs> For your fate is to die. Die at the fury at the great beast himself. Isn't it sad? Knowing the futility of your life? No, not at all. Yeah, we all die. Life is wonderful. Our world does suck, though. That's right. Every life ultimately will end. It's about how you live it. What happens? Yeah. The beauty that you find within the sorrow. Agreed. Oh. What? All right. I, I used to be so naive like you. Back when I was the radiant soul. I thought the same. But some pa uh, some pains are too great to bear. Uh, do you feel it, young frog? The pain and torment of loneliness. You still have your companions. You travel with them everywhere you go. But I... I mean... <laughs> Sonore... She lost it all. Every member of her family... Taken by the darkness. <laughs> to wait a millennia... Here in solitude with nothing but her thoughts. <laughs> Isn't that sadness too great to bear? I put on my crying face. It's moving. Tragedies aren't all. Negative. When other people read them, they are moved. Greater heights. <clears throat> A word I find that hard to believe. My theaters are always the most packed when I play a good tragedy. But isn't that sad in and of itself? That people's lives are so miserable that they must witness a story told of misery so they can feel some sort of small sense of catharsis. What a oh, you're just existence. a real negative Nancy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I, yes, I am. <laughs> See, that. Sorrow and joy, they are two sides of the same coin, no? For what is really joy if you don't, for heaven's known, brew sadness? The sorrow gives you an appreciation for what you have. Sonore may be gone, see, but she is still with you, no? You are here crying over her story, still lamenting, keeping no. her memory fresh. That is just wrong. She's not here at all. <laughs> She's dead. I ate her heart. No, right, right. Physically, she is not here, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Her soul is also gone, too. Yes. It's just almost every part of her is gone. And yet you are still talking about her, no? You still say her name. You still think of her. We're talking about her right now. It's tragic, isn't it? Sure, but nothing really matters in the end. <laughs> oh, nothing we matters. Have a good time. With what, we, with what time we have. You're wasting it by spilling your beautifully prismatic tears all over the floor when you could be moving on, creating something new. <laughs> oh, I or... thought that. But every moment I try to spread my wings and fly, just the sadness brings me back to the ground. <laughs> Mm. 
the thing about bearing great sadness, great sorrow, it can be shared. Share the load, Miss Winket Serpent. Nancy. She looks you deep in the eyes. Give me a diplomacy I... check. <laughs> oh, I was gonna. Well, I didn't get to finish, but. No, uh, go ahead, go ahead, finish. Also gonna play some sad music. Some sad, <laughs> cathartic music as we share the load. <laughs> Got it. So Can I, I assist <laughs> with uh, with what I've said so far? Yeah, straight up. Is it diplomacy? Yep, diplomacy. I'm gonna begin this bardic performance. Thirty-one, huh? Plus Thirty- two from three. seven. Thirty-three, huh? Plus two from whatever Kanaka contributed. <laughs> All right, Kanaka, go ahead and contribute something. <laughs> oh, uh, this. <laughs> it's like my babushka always says: "Shut up and flex the pain away, and suck <laughs> both tears back into your eyes." Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and give me a diplomacy <laughs> check. <laughs> Flex the pain away. <laughs> Perfect. Thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, do I hinder here? Would you like to hinder here, Vin? Be be true to Vin. All right. <laughs> I'm all right. I have a bush. You said if you don't have anything nice to say, you don't say it at all. He said, drinking his tears that are now wine. <laughs> Refilling his tears. <laughs> As her tears stop flooding and then merely rainbow droplets on her eyes. Suppose things aren't always bad all the time. I do have company now. Even if it is just temporary. Can I have a hug? Got All it. Right. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's not the first time this has happened. <laughs> you saying that? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll protect no. you. No, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get constricted. But uh, <laughs> Let me hold on. Lampkin. <laughs> Yeah, Lam oh Lambkin is a, like, I'm a small frog. I'm going to get in the snake's mouth and hug it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Would you like a cigarette as well? Would <laughs> you like a cigarette? No, I don't smoke. <laughs> I mean, Mesmer's just going to put on them <laughs> before yeah, he goes in for the hug. Just two. It's, it's the just... appropriate amount for a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I can choose my maximum. I'll put the other two on uh, Finn and Kanaka. Okay, okay. It'll be in the, the chat, the hell chat. Oh, sure. Well. <laughs> you go in for a hug. Those giant serpent wings wrap around you, and no one can, no longer can anyone see Lambkin beyond those giant rainbowed feathers. <laughs> what is your name, dear frog? My name is Sir Lambkin of Blackleg. So please, call me Lambkin. <laughs> Sir Lambkin of Blackleg. What a beautiful and gallant name you have. I was once the Radiant Soul, but now you may refer to me as the Morning Choir. In my eyes, you are still very radiant. Thank you. And she, this hug continues even in silence for like a minute. Minute and thirty seconds. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's right. okay. I understand. Take, uh, take your time. <laughs> Three minutes, go on. I play with the rainbow tear puddle. <laughs> it's, it's, it seems to be very magical. Ooh. It has some good properties to it. You don't know. Can I use these minutes to identify with spellcraft to just look around? Oh yeah, 100%. This could be used as a magical components. We just for... start doing our own thing. <laughs> <laughs> this could be used for magical components to craft like consumable illusion effects or illusion magic based items. <laughs> Those tears. Can I hypnotic stare her too? Why not? Are you hypnotic gonna, stare. I'm gonna peer across the water, see what there is on the other side. You peer it's across the water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another diplomacy. You eagle spender like, him? What? <laughs> like, Myself. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be like, hey, so, uh, I can't play if I'm being held. That is true, you can't. I'm doing this for Vinda. <laughs> you peer across the water at the island. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Gorgeous. I wish to go there. It looks almost like... A demon's lantern. I mean, it looks like the. I'm not gonna stop us if she's busy hugging Lampkin, so why don't we just go across? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been five minutes for this hug. I lick the puddle during all this. <laughs> <laughs> you lick the puddle. Can you give me a, a will save? Yeah. Can you convert these tears to wine, Vin? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Will. Right, you, it seems as though the world faded, it, like you're on tripping on acid for a second, like illusions <laughs> started seeping in, but you strengthen your resolve and focus your mind. Whoa! This good stuff. I wouldn't try licking it though. Get a bottle of it. I just, but, okay, I'll, I'll do it. What happens if I just walk by? the bridge the moment you walk there a tail s snaps in front of you uh, i did not get your name still giant wings wrapped around lampkin for six minutes <laughs> <laughs> the seven pangs of longing pleased to meet you <laughs> pleased to meet My, you uh, still not allowed to go I'm still have barring access to this bridge. You, you seem to be enjoying that hug. Why not just ignore me? No, you cannot go. I told you already, and the Barrow King resides there. <laughs> he does not like the living. But you have helped me as well. And you, I consider you a friend there, Seven Thanks. Please, come in for a hug. <laughs> still hugging Lampkin. <laughs> See, I'm a little bit autistic, so I'm not a pretty much a fan <laughs> of that kind of thing. Oh, it's okay then. But you mustn't go to the Barrowed Island. She goes back to enjoying her long embrace with Lampkin. <laughs> <laughs> you still have his saying. Are you okay there, Lampkin? Uh, I give it to the 10 minute mark. So I'm like, <laughs> hey, so. How about that finish that song I, I was playing for you? I, and, and, you know, we, yeah, we I remember that it. song in my ears. No need to play it. I'll be right back. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, me too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's to... No, it is okay. Just a bit longer. It's been so long since I felt the embrace of another. I, uh... Stroke her tummy. <laughs> <laughs> right. It, it. She doesn't seem to like let go. I. Uh, I look <laughs> at Kanaka. Oh. <laughs> and I mouth help. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you grow. Oh, I'm Kanaka. I give the best hugs. Let me trade in for Lampkin. My wings are big enough to embrace you both. Come here. 
No, I'm stingy. I want the biggest, best hug you can give, and Lampkin's in the way. I'll squish him. You mustn't be so greedy for love. So few of it in the world. I'll give you a big, big gator hug, but you gotta let go of the frog first. <laughs> give me the bluffs. Give me a bluff check, because you're being deceitful about this. <laughs> I'm, I'm really gonna hug him. <laughs> yeah, I know, but your intentions oh, is yeah. to, <laughs> right. to let go of Lambkin, not to actually hug. Or is it intimidation? <laughs> As you're like, give me the fuck, give me the hug. Intimidation <laughs> has different context if you like to use it. <laughs> Arr. Completely different context. It, it really is. I don't know how I would squeeze that in instead of that. Why? What are you plotting here? For what reason was it for you to grow so large? So I can give the bed a hug. No, you could hug me from your large stature as you once were. I also just like being big. <laughs> well, he does not... like being big. <laughs> well, that's not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You see, you the, thing about the, the thing about <laughs> barbarians, they like being big. The morning choir does seem quite wary now of Kanaka's intentions. But she does yeah. not let go of Lampkin. Okay, I was about to ask, is Lampkin still being hugged? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. Okay, let me cast the rest of my buffs and where's this just Morning, you're acting a little little weird. <laughs> like a little suspicious. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, Nobody is. hugs Lampkin that long. It's weird. <laughs> is, is that true? Do you say that? I mean, what? No, I don't. I don't say that. Okay. <laughs> Just begin casting buffs after buffs after buffs. <laughs> <laughs> Get them all going. <laughs> I'll be ready for this one. <laughs> I didn't know where it is. <laughs> That's all the ones I have. Oh. Wait, was Vin actually building up to something? Because I have something I want to try to ask. Not building up to assaulting her or anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hey. Um. Hey. Can I, can I call you Morning? Or is it the full name? Morning, morning Quiet. Quiet, Morning Quiet. <laughs> okay, like a pimp named Slickback. I understand. Like morning, as in like morning, like you're sad, remorseful, not like morning. No, right. yeah. no yes, 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 I understand. I understand. But uh, hey, what does it like to fly? Oh, it is a liberating experience. You said, you said you haven't tried in a long time. Oh, I do you fly do you here want to try and there? Now? Do you think I can? See, and I place a very reassuring hand. Not, not <laughs> you know, less <laughs> you <slap> forcefully. Her. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking slap. <laughs> no, place a, a reassuring hand on here. Yeah. She looks up into the sky. All right. It goes nothing. Your name has changed, but not who you are. You are still a radiant soul. Hold on. Be free. This 24 beaches is. is... <laughs> Wait, she gets a plus. The grapples. Ah, uh, 24 is my CMD. Okay, well, <laughs> you grab. And she. F be her wings spread. And she Ooh. flies. She's doing it. Well, now you're officially grappled, because it's the only way to get yeah. you up in the air. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, low-key, I did kind of want to, like, fucking climb around on her back and fly and be like that scene in Neverending Story. Well, you oh, are was... wrapped around her tail now, so... Oh, I was totally headcanoning Neverending Story right now. It's a little bit Never less uh, dignified story. than Neverending Story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so 
Thompson's the same thing. Right. Lambkin. She flies around with Lambkin in tow. <gasps> I'm doing it! I'm flying once again! See, that dog You're doing it. it! Oh my god. Right. So this lasts for <laughs> even longer now. <laughs> As she's Fuck this. I'm, let's go Let's go across <laughs> the bridge. Kanaka, would you lead the way? I can't wait to get fucking dropped in the water. <laughs> you mean left behind like B? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, slow down. Do what? Well, she's fine. I'll, if Kanako won't do it, I'll just I'll, I'll sneak across. Fuck it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you need to some sort of stealth thing, right? So oh yeah, I got you. I got yeah, you yeah, covered, yeah, darling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you vanish, and you can go ahead and move. Stop at the end of the bridge for me, before you proceed. I think this probably is Lampkin's first time flying, though. Yeah, you're I enjoy flying. It. I enjoy it. There's some wee. I have to stop. Oh, it, it, only takes me, it only takes me one round with Expeditious Retreat to get across. Right, uh, give me a stealth check. Oh, wait, how long does Vanish last for? It'll last for nine rounds. Five rounds, it says here. Maximum. But oh, oh, five max. That's, right. that's fine, though. That's enough time, right? You don't need to make a stealth check behind her back. So, <clears throat> uh, I just want to know what, before we proceed up there, does Vin, Kanaka, or Lampkin want to do anything here? I don't even know seven fucking left. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys don't know seven left, except maybe Vin is right next uh, to her. I'm looking up and I'm kind of jealous. She can't carry you, Kanaka. You're too big. <laughs> oh. She could try, but it's not going to be good. You shouldn't have gotten so big. This is the perk of being small. Shut up, Larka! <laughs> I'm on top of the world! <laughs> right. <clears throat> so. Just pondering the inevitable murder of this creature. <laughs> Well, let's go to Pangs then. I have a false life on myself. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, uh, we're, we're gonna fight. We're probably because of my shit. We're gonna and because we're just fucking around, not killing her for so long. We're probably gonna have to fight both her and this thing over here at the same time. <laughs> Great. Or maybe they'll kill each other. That'd be even cooler. Yeah. Well, if we befriend the cool evil snake. All right, seven pangs. That's me. You are here, and you take a step onto the island. Mm -hmm. You see, this island is an overgrown swamp island where the dirt meets stone slabs covered with foliage. As you realize, half of this island is just graves in its entirety. Everywhere except for the center clearing of the island is going to be difficult terrain. But as you approach, it seems as though the island has a life of its own. As the mist, the fog around your feet begins swirling rapidly, weaving in and out of the foliage until it coalesces into the center, where a dead body they slumped over a sarcophagus. Ooh, that's a handsome skeleton. It raises... It wears a crown. And... Yeah, that's it. Upon the sarcophagus, there are two unlit candles. You are free to move about. It seems as though the skeleton is lifeless. But... I think you already had to get the memo that this is a person. I cast message, send it to Vin. What do you say? I cast BRB. Play the demon's lantern. And do as she bids. You reach into the button, GM. You reach into your ass pocket. Ass pocket. <laughs> And you pull the demon's lantern. It glows. 
and the whole fen being sparkling, not just the island. Seems though the fen is the de the demon's fen is the demon's land. <laughs> yeah. What else? I'm thinking it could be the empty throne. I'm not sure. Hold off on that one. I will approach. You will approach. Go ahead. Put yourself Actually, where you these, like uh, Remind me, do the um like does the white does the white lily I'm holding and the all blossom and those kinds of things, do they light up with detect magic? Yeah, they're magical, but they're they're with some bullshit type of magic, you know. You know, the storied magic that's present yes. in the Herod realm. But would detect magic help to identify if one was present? Yes, it would. If, you, if you're in 60 feet of wherever you believe it to be, yeah. Yeah, I'll like detect magic in the area of uh, the sure. skill. See you, if I can locate anything. You detect magic. Uh, the skeleton is magical. He has a lot of magic gear upon him. Okay. Once again, the bullshit type of magic. Uh... It just detects magical auras, right? Uh, this, yeah. This whole island irradiates an aura of necromancy. Necromancy. Shocker. And if you look for any similar magic aura of your tokens, there is none. Not on his body, not on this island, not on the previous area where you crossed. Not on the fancy grave. Alright. Seems as though One there's more. no token within your visuals. <laughs> One more buff on myself real quick. <laughs> Go for it. Damn. He cast mirror image. Got it. Six images. Uh, four. I rolled a four. one. Got it. You don't ever have to roll, by the way. If you look in the effect note section, it shows how many images you'll roll. Um. Oh, okay. Well, I roll it first because it it asks how many number of images you have for the, the effect before uh... before it rolls it. That's true. Yours is not set up properly. I'll set. I'll fix that <laughs> next time. Okay. Um, I mean, he's gonna kill me as soon as I approach him, but oh, whatever. I'm gonna stare at him and <laughs> cast a message at him. At him? All right. Yeah. What would you yeah, like, like to say? Wake up, sleepyhead. Is that what you say? Wake up? Yeah. <clears throat> Seems as though there's no response. Alright. Does that sarcophagus look openable? Uh, depends what your strength is. Uh, <laughs> there's a DC to In it. other words, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kanaka is a definite yes. To you, maybe. Plant. Yeah. Maybe if you're lucky. <laughs> you spend, put a lot of time into it. A step closer, see what I can see. Is there uh, any signs of where? What did she say? She buried it? No, gave it to the barrowed king. Oh, gave it to this fucker. Okay. Uh, you stepped there though. I step here. That's Sneakily. a good spot. To... Oh, go ahead and give me a stealth check then. There's a lot of foliage around. Has it been five rounds, of puppets? Oh, it's definitely been five rounds since Vanish. Okay. Definitely been 30 seconds. Should I cast it again? <laughs> yes. If you like. Yes, I, yes I will. Oops. Shit, I, didn't, I had him targeted. That's fine. Whatever. 
he remains on the <laughs> one feet, right? Yeah, it's a plus one need to be in this. Wow. I'm just checking a few things, don't mind me. It has nothing to do with your inevitable death. <laughs> Speaking of Seven's inevitable death, though, oh, yes. um, I was AFK, but I also think it's it might be the Empty Throne. Might or might not help. Well, it seems as though the moment you step forward, nothing stirs. Just the fireflies buzz about. Okay. I'm going to spend, uh... How long does it take to sleight of hand someone to, like, search and steal their shit? I think it's a pickpocket? Yeah. A lift? Uh, it depends on the item, right? It has to be something pickpocketable, of course. I guess so. I'll, it's just a I'll standard, to, right? Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll have to search him for, like, a token-like object, and then I'll try to swipe it without disturbing him. Hey, you don't need to search them, you can just do it random. <laughs> you can just do it raw if you like. <laughs> just, start, just, start, just take whatever the fuck's in his pockets. <laughs> yeah, so it's a one yeah, round we'll do for... It, we'll do it raw. Fuck it. Yeah, it, it'd be two rounds if you want to search and do it. If not, you can just do one round and back out. It's faster if you do it raw. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, go ahead. I only have five rounds of Invis. Let's, let's just start taking stuff. Go ahead. Pick his pockets. He will get a perception check. And it's not the visual kind of perception check. Yeah, I didn't add any stealth. Uh, I didn't add any bonuses. Just a regular check. VS, you're... Actually gonna steal shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you... He has a lot of things that you can't identify on him, but the only thing that you can identify that you can't actually lift within a short boost is going to be his great sword. Oh, I don't care about that. Yeah, that's I'm looking shit's... for the token we need. That shit is cringe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if only my stare penalized his skill checks. <laughs> I don't have that one. As you reach into his pocket for something, you, the still lifeless hand snaps into existence, grabbing forth at your wrist. Ugh. As the body begins levitating, pulling your arm towards into the air, as the mist of the island surrounds him. You're still invisible here, <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> but he knows you're about. You. Take a moment to snap your arm away. I sense life. Who dares step forth upon the barrowed island? And it seems as though he looks about after saying all that. I'm not saying shit since she just gets stitches. <laughs> right. Uh, your hand's free. Seems as though he's looking for someone. You have four more rounds. To do as you please. Does he have a long cloak? Yeah, he has a long cloak. Oh, is she acting like... like a cloak item? No. <laughs> uh, no, no, I mean just like, is he, yeah, a long article of clothing that uh, yeah, I could he... use the owl's needle and thread to like glue to the sarcophagus. Yeah, you could try that. Uh, let me see the action for it, for this situation. <laughs> yeah, how long would it take? To... Yeah. <laughs> this might, this, it's either you may be caught in the act or you could be caught running away. One of the two things might happen here. It says uh, the, the glue takes one round to set. Uh, so it's going to be... It is sovereign blue. Right. Ooh. It counts as a use active. It counts as use activate itself. Okay, so the same way, the same action is gonna be a standard of using the self or a flask. 
And then one round later, it's gonna, as long as he stays still for one whole round, <laughs> it bonds. Yeah. I'm going to glue him to the... <laughs> well, you're going to sew him. <laughs> it's like, I will, I will sew his cloak into the... I will still... <laughs> I still require you to make a... What you call it? I guess this is a CMB, right? So you need to give me a stealth check to see if you hit flat-footed. Right. CMB, oh god, what is no, that, like the plus no, one? No, no, you need a stealth check first, right? Okay. A stealth check first. Does invisibility apply? Yes, invisible applies here. Thank you. This is if you hit his flat-footed or not. Alright, he does- Oh, no, I should give him a perception check. Wait, no, he can't beat that. Maybe. Shit. Right, he doesn't seem to notice you. So go ahead and give me a CMB check. See if he stands still long enough. Let's press the melee button. So it's not a plus one, you have a bab. Oh shit, not 25. bad. 25. Well, if you were to hit him normally, it wouldn't work. But, <laughs> it just so happens <laughs> that 25 is his flat footed CMB. <laughs> so. Yeah. You, I only you, had to roll a 19. You take his cloak, slowly lift it up, and you spin around sewing it in. And as you go into the sarcophagus, it magically slides through the stone as if it was fabric. And you go out and in and out, and it takes you two rounds, right? One for doing it, one for setting. But you have three rounds to book it. He is unaware that his cape is tied to the sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> well, one more round to attempt another... Uh, <laughs> another uh, sleight of hand to take his shit. <laughs> Go for it. It's only a plus 11 plus a, against his plus 17. We can do this. Oh! That's the uh, best I can do! Let's see if he notices the direction of where it's coming from and it will randomly swing. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. He does not notice you boosting something out of his pockets. What is liftable here? Give me a... One... One, two, you can lift that, you can lift that too. Give me a 1d4. Come on, big money token. One. One. Let me open up your inventory. <laughs> Let's remove it from his inventory. So you pull out of his pockets an elixir of some <laughs> sort. Damn it. It's not what I wanted. Not entirely what you would like to pull. It did seem gem-like and glass-like, but when you pulled it out, it's not. It's just a glass bottle. Shit, we're going again. E, this is your final round. You're gonna appear after this. It's fine. Okay. It's not fine. Fuck, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Give a stealth check. Once again, he still gets a chance as you move. You're not moving at full speed or full speed? Half speed. Half speed. All right, so get your bonus. Let's see if I you, you triggered the AOO here. Let's go. <laughs> oh god. Okay. That's a oh. Ooh, what? God, stealth is invisibility is very good. All right. So he hears you. You manage to get out of there, but and he hears your footsteps a little too late, as you're already out of his reach. He draws his great sword. And you appear out of invisibility at the other side of the island. He stares you down. Two lifeless eyes stare at one another. <laughs> hey, the skeleton is awake, I say. I shout across the water. Uh, that's a pretty big shout range. <laughs> <laughs> this here. is a massive ass. Oh, I cast message again. Hey, the the skeleton is awake. To Vin, it's a hundred sixty foot range. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, up in the sky. All, all, all he's got is. <laughs> 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 all 
Oh, nice. way to rub it in. <laughs> well, uh, you get the message, Vin. The skeleton's awake. All right, Kanaka. Lambkin's being held hostage by a depressed uh, flying serpent thing, and uh, the Seven Pings has awakened an ancient evil on the island over yonder. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. I mean, I'm just letting you know what's going on, man. Uh, well, I can't fly, so I I could help Seven. No, yeah, let's go, uh, no, let's you mustn't go. Something. Stop right there. <laughs> I <laughs> cast protective you. luck on my boy. <laughs> Do it on your turn. <laughs> it is my turn. The same the surprise <laughs> round situation. It's always my turn. <laughs> You're not surprising here. Right. Uh, Pangs, I want to know, are you going to run back? Or are you going to try to hold this ground location? Oh, I'm this... fucking out of here. Got mm -hmm. it. So I'll put you on initiative too. Then. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't even have a weapon. <laughs> Seven's weapons is fucking human resources. <laughs> <laughs> My mind blanked for a second. I was like, what am I doing? Combat. So. You anger. Well, you don't anger her. You sadden her further. As the morning choir. Have everyone selected? Ugh. Flies down. Let me pull out. Is playing oh. Wrath of the Righteous right now? Yeah. Nice. This is That's why it hit a ring uh, a bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the quad will purchase. Oh. She's trying to stop you from crossing. <laughs> She'll purchase here. Dangled over the lake. <laughs> fucking, fucking knew I was gonna fall in this it. water. You you're not it. falling on the water, you're still at her level being held. <laughs> suspended over the ridge. <laughs> she begins. Please. You mustn't leave me. As. A cone. She shoots a cone of depression at Kanaka and Vin. Give me oh, will saves, both of you. I love that spell. I wish I had it. It was, it was so well with mine. You're okay, Vin. However, Kanaka, you are afflicted with crushing despair. You can take a <laughs> negative two to literally everything. <laughs> Attack rolls, damage rolls, skill checks, ability checks, saving throws, a whole shebang. <laughs> you mustn't pass! Alright, it is now the turn of Lambkin. Lambkin's gonna go for his signature combat strategy. What is it? Diplomacy for 10 rounds. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> Diplomacy god. for 10 rounds, if you'd like. <laughs> no. oh, we got a spot open in our party, you know. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. God, no. I will cleave through this fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, hold on, I'm dying. Sure. It's a bit of dying. Okay. Alright, we're, we're, we're back. We're live. Yeah, you're suspended over <laughs> that little lake. Seems like a pretty good drop from where you are. 
<laughs> but am I just like curled in her tail, just being yeah. dangled? Yeah, you're curled in her tail, being dangled. Dangled. It doesn't seem to uh. hurt. Yet. Yeah, this, this this was always coming. Um, I turn and you know, like hand on her tail. I'm like, hey, hey, no, Sh what what is it about this barrel gang that disturbs you so? Is this another problem we can help? No, no, you cannot. It is his duty to protect the bard's heart. To protect this world from sorrow. You cannot help. And those who try to help, I grow weary of. As if maybe you're not here for friendship, Sir Lampkin. Maybe you were here to take the bard's heart. <laughs> Say it isn't true. We already made memories. That was my first flight. <laughs> it's your turn, Lion King. What do you do here? Uh, keep getting forced to kill people. <laughs> Don't need to kill it. <laughs> Excuse me? It's kill or be killed here? Sure, if you so believe. I just need to verify if this is a move or a swift, because I always feel like it's a swift. It's a swift action to smite evil, right? Yeah. You can swift action smite. I'm not uh, evil, I swear. Then tell me, why? Why does this work on you? <laughs> why does what work on me? <laughs> In the next life. Something, something. Words. <laughs> In the next life, something, something. Words. Kills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you pressed the wrong move. button. I just like yeah, move. I draw. Also, you grappled. The uh, rapier is not a light weapon. It's a one-handed weapon. Excuse me? I have effortless lace treating it as a light weapon? Uh, excuse me? You kind of cringe. Go ahead. Yeah, it's almost like my whole build was built around that. But minus two for grapple. Well, actually, I'm, I've got the grapple condition. Yeah, so grapple should condition. Auto apply. Right. Yep, it automatically applies. Thirty-four, but twenty-four. Do we confirm? We do not confirm. However, twenty damage is still no joke, Chan. She takes twenty damage, no DR whatsoever because of smite. Correct. Correct. Alright, just taking the damage, and you've made an enemy this day. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually made some. That's okay. That, that is my burden to bear. Alright, as you stab into her chest, you are bombarded with tears. As she begins crying and weeping, and now you're showered in them. Vin, it's your turn. Let's target my boy here. I'm gonna need Kanaka to please counter grapple me before I fall to my death. <laughs> Alright, go get her. Ooh. Don't worry, I'll supervise. <laughs> It is Pangs, your turn. I, for some reason, I'm lagging like shit as soon as you turn the crying on. Can you turn it off? Yeah, I got you. Okay. It is a powerful, powerful, it's powerful <laughs> tears, yes. Oh, we. We. Hey, you double move? Uh, I have expeditious retreats. How long point. does that last for? <laughs> that minutes quite or a, hours? Quite a while. I'm pretty sure it's minutes. Yeah, Thanks. so in like nine minutes, my boy was fucking up in the air for 15 of those minutes, and then you had a little excursion on this island. 
Oh, I cast those right before I went across. Sure. Uh, yeah, it could be on. It doesn't really matter here. I don't think I'm pretty sure none of my things would have expired except the rounds for level ones because I left like. Yeah, okay, I didn't. I didn't yeah. start them at the beginning. Go for it. You're here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna just do the stair. You walked all the way this close, just the stair. I she just want to be next to my friends. She looks back at you, <laughs> surrounding me on all sides. You, you lying wench. Ooh, name calling. Nice. Kanaka. It wasn't me, it was the skeleton. You crossed the bridge. The bridge you should never cross. It really wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> you can't full attack if you do that, Johnny. I can't reach anyway, it's too far. You're large. Or is she in the air? She's not in the air, she's on the bridge. Yeah, just five foot step, bro. Oh, brother. The shift. My brother in Christ, you have reach. Please save me. <laughs> save me before I fall. <laughs> I'll start with the dirty trick. Does Entangle cancel that grapple? If I can Entangle? With the dirty trick? It's whatever you believe it to do. Uh, yeah. Some situations it does, other situations it does. It's a mechanical thing. Alright. I will... I will tail pretzel this thing to try to rest. Lampkin out of her tail. Sure. I will do full attack. Oh, wait. Savage Dirty let me pick full mm -hmm. attack. Yep, you get to replace one of them with the Savage Dirty. Uh, 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 uh. Rage yeah. I forget the rage. Yeah. Also, we gotta keep in mind that you should always be raging in combat because if you're not, you move at five feet. <laughs> Should we forget that? You have lame. All right. <laughs> no, it's got the uh, the the extra thingy. What, like ten feet? Uh, yeah, I think. It, <laughs> yeah, not not it's that like fast. Twenty five, twenty five or twenty. He's adjusted for it. Sure. So if I full attack with savage dirty trick, is it gonna put? Where does it gonna put the dirty trick at? It's whenever you, you want to use it, you just say which attack you want to replace with it. Your first, second, or third. All right, I'll do I'll do first. All right, so then just press that button first, and then we'll ignore your first full attack. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who'd you hit that guy on? Oh, okay, good. That's a 45 against CMD. She has a massive CMD, but it still works. Yeah! You're and now putting. I do yeah, well, first, uh, you're putting Entangle on there, right? Yes. Let's see if uh, she fails her... She fails her Fortitude save against you. What, uh, what's the extra? Uh, um, anchored in place. Anchored in place, so she can't fly away with Lampkin. Good yes. shit. She is entangled and anchored. Now go ahead and full attack, and we'll ignore the first one. Okay. Wow. Holy shit, and that 20 double crit on haste attack? Wow. Whoa. Oh! Okay. It's a single. Minus Whoa! two. Of... Yeah, minus <laughs> two to everything. <laughs> but it's both double 20s. So that's auto That's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> that's just not fair. <laughs> so, miss, <laughs> miss, miss, and then you hit. <laughs> Everyone, everyone, go ahead and hover your things over her so you can see her HP. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Minus 209 damage she takes. <laughs> she looks terrible right now. Add four to that and we become confused. Add four to that? She is unconscious. <laughs> no. I still had so much more to do that works. There was still a bite. There was a Lampkin. curse. 
Uh, Kernagon smash. You fall. Butchie's tail oh. pretzeled. It, 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 un <laughs> it unwinds the moment she goes unconscious. Lampkin! You're trying to Kanaka! <laughs> you're, you're a frog! You're good! Lampkin! Swim check! <laughs> uh, just double checking real quick if I got a bonus. No, I have a climb speed. You're a frog, bro. <laughs> frog swim. Do the frog swim. Glad I put the one single point into swim because good, I'm good. not an actual fucking gripply. Yeah. The water is calm. However, it's unnaturally frigid as it seems as though you're bathing in starlight. The darkness of the water looks more akin to the astral plane and it hurts. Taking 1d6 cold damage every time you're around you're in here. But despite it still being harder to swim in, and you only take one damage, uh, it still you still manage to swim. Go ahead and move what, one eighth your speed. One eighth. One fourth. Uh. You hold your bed. Quarter of your speed as a move action. You can go half your speed yeah. as full round. Go for it. So. I think that just works out to five feet. Yeah, it's always five feet. Yeah, is this five feet. Well, you could full round if you like, and it'll be half your movement. Uh, yeah. That is actually better, because that'll at least get me up on the wall. I can start climbing. Right, you hit the wall, <clears throat> and you have a climb speed. Yes. Okay, so then there's no challenge to pull yourself out one round later. You just take another five damage. Can I go help him? No, you can't. I just watch him struggling. <laughs> you, you technically did help. <laughs> you just looked down the cliff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Kanaka, Lampkin. Yeah. Uh, there's a skeleton over there that has the token we're looking for, but I tried to take it from him, but unfortunately I took the wrong thing. Um, bad eyesight sometimes. I hold up the potion, or the elixir, fiddle it with it. Oh, that kind of... Looks like a heart. Yeah, I see how you put it, did that. Anyway, um, you're just wandering around over there, so wh why don't we go kill him? Yeah. Skellies are evil, right? Yes. Yeah. Vin, is it evil? Is it evil, everyone's favorite game? <laughs> is it I'm, evil? Not the, I'm not the judge of that. <laughs> hey. We are all evil in this day. Give Kanaka a little, little slap on the back of the leg. <laughs> He's still so angry. <laughs> God, guys, I'm, I think there's a fight coming up. Yeah, the funny thing is he could drop the rage, not be tired, save the rounds, True. and then rage again. I'm doing it all simultaneously, okay? I got buffs, buttons, and all that shit. <laughs> he has too many yeah. buttons to press. Too you, were, you were too sad. You were too sad to be angry. Uh, it is it true. Was a mean <laughs> snake dream. Flying snake thing didn't even give me a ride. Kanaka, you should know. That was probably the most fun thing I did in my life. Oh, I'm so <laughs> depressed. And you'll continue to be depressed for ten whole, for twelve whole minutes. I was about to ask, goddamn it! <laughs> twelve whole minutes. You're going Do I have to, to roll the uh, images thing, or it did already? Yeah. Uh, Five. Five. Okay. 
don't know why it automatically gave me one. Get wrecked, bro. Get wrecked. <laughs> so depressed. <laughs> I don't even know my spell. Let this be a lesson to you, Lamkin. About using diplomacy on evil creatures rather than just murdering them outright. <laughs> hey, well, here's the thing about that. We killed the paladin, and we may or may not have needed him. You never know. Onward. It's like Pio used to say, you're a big criminal murderer. They want to wait for Kanaka to not be, you know. He'll be fine. You know. Right, right. Kanaka gotta my... stop yeah. right there. <laughs> All right. You do not have your weight filled out. And oh, this shit. ride has a weight limit. I'm heavy as fuck, boy. And you, being large doubles your weight, <laughs> including your items. Your weight doesn't. Octub it? No, it's a. It's how many medium-sized creatures can fit inside his body. All right. The well, largest sized creature is, on average, eight times heavier than a medium-sized creature. Is that what it says? Where it says? Right. Yeah. All right, then you're times eight, and that includes your items weight as well. So I'm gonna go look up the lizard folk <laughs> weight category. Yeah, it like the upper bracket of whatever it is. You want the upper bracket? Just, <laughs> I'll give like you. <laughs> I'll give He's you like the upper just breath. Just swim, Kanaka. Just, he is just not swim. Average. <laughs> Can't believe you're getting fat shamed right now. <laughs> Alright, I got you. It's all muscle. It's oh, all right. muscle. Wait, Kanaka, no. Don't Kanaka, fall acrobatics, in. no. Yay. I got that on top. Kanaka. <laughs> As Kanaka falls through. Okay. Leaving a nice hole for everyone. Okay, question. Yeah. Was the was the cold damage was because it was just cold or is it like a supernatural I'm attacking you because you're in water thing? It's like a supernatural cold. So if I would endure elements and put you're it fine. for cold, <laughs> hell yes. You will be fine. Guys, I found my other spell list and it's coming in clutch. <laughs> you cast endure elements? <sighs> <laughs> I, you cast endure elements while in the water. I don't give a shit that I'm in water. I just swim along. You will take at least one damage before it is casted. So three cold Oops. damage. Okay. It's crocodile. But yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> there's a hole in the bridge now. But it should be what's, fine. Yeah, what's the acrobatics bonus for having sixty foot move speed? It is for every ten plus four. So, wait, it is, right? That, See, that seems huge. So It is massive. Plus 12, then? Acrobatics. But Steven would know this offhand. He's the acrobatic god. That was a question. What is it for every 10 acro movement speed you have? What's the acro bonus you get? Uh, it's for every... It's, it's plus 4. For every 10? Yep. Yeah. So you get right. 12. And uh, we'll jump. It's only 10 feet, you know. <laughs> it's just, it's I have long. a plus zero, dog. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gracefully leap across. Lampkin should not be a big... As long as you can beat I, a 10, everyone can do it. I literally can't fail. There you go. Kanaka, you have a swim speed? Oh, yeah. Uh, is it adding it? It says 30, but yeah, I have... you have 30. You can make eight. it across. And you can make it across just fine. She's come ashore. Oh, Peshka floating disc me across. <laughs> you floating disc. Here. That's all BRB while I take a quick piss. Okay. Deal. Only be a minute. Don't you dare. <gasps> Beovana has to pee. Peovana. <laughs> Could you imagine being some sort of, like, amphibious race that's known for swimming in water and hanging around ponds? And then you can't swim? That'd be embarrassing.
Do you think the Quaddle had loot? I was going to ask that. I hope so. Wait, what do you mean, had? Like, had because it's dead now and it's ours? Or did someone throw it off the bridge or something? Tanaka made a hole where its body was. Its body was, yeah. The question was, does, <laughs> yeah. did would would she have had loot? Uh, let me go double check. Could she be looted, is the question. Well, everything can be looted. But could she specifically <laughs> be looted? Don't worry about it. Anyways. <laughs> Alright. You want to go in there? <laughs> Going away. Hey, to her decaying wax mass in the bottom of the lake. That was the. That's why I kept saying had. That's a Kanaka thing now. I'm back. More alcohol. Welcome back, Kanaka. They're thinking about making you die. Mm. But we're here now. So, if you want to go back and loot her, say so now. If not, proceed. Does it make a difference? Or I can know that do there. it after. Oh, you can Maybe. do it after. Unless, you know, the demon Sven. There is no after. You know? Is there really an after? Did her body really fall or is she still on the bridge? Well, she she was falling regardless of the hole because she's melting into wax and doesn't really stand on this. Gross. But, you know, the hole really set it off. I mean, they put the so, scared of water yeah. track on as well but, to fit your decision making. <laughs> well, Kanaka, do you feel like making the journey? I missed whatever it was. You Can we deal with the skeleton first? With the Hold thing on. we really need. I gotta nerf this skeleton a second right now. Nerf? Right. He's been there. You look at the skeleton, and. Something does seem to be different, Pangs. Uh, mm -hmm. His cloak is attached to the sarcophagus, but the cloak is no longer attached to him. Yeah. As uh, he's removed it. <laughs> <laughs> it, was just an, it, it was just so that I could run yeah. away and he would get snagged if he was chasing me. But And I also okay. lied, he did have a cloak item, and it's no longer on him. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Planned. He, he chose not to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Chose not to be stuck to a sarcophagus. He should right. have just dragged it around behind him. That would have been badass. Fallen. The sarcophagus seems pretty embedded to this <laughs> island, along with all the other tombstones. Uh, unfortunately, this is not a uh, proper talking distance, 40 feet. Unless you want to shout, we can have a shout off. No, I play the card first. All right, play the card. We we'll play, play these cards fucking willy nilly. Oh, no. uh, empty throne. Yes. Was that the one you put for the paladin? No. No. Yeah, all right. No, I... Oh, the loss was the paladin. I remember. We, we played eclipse and wasted it during the paladin. Empty throne. It was empty. Well, oh yeah, I thought empty. Th so. I thought empty throne was correct too, but apparently no. Empty throne is not wrong. It is wrong. Oh, what the heck? Yep, it's not empty throne. I double checked. It's not. So then you pull the empty throne. Doesn't work. Yeah, he's wasting a card. <laughs> who, who would do that? Who would do such a thing? To me. Is he just oh. chilling there, or is he like coming at us? He's staring you down right now. However, it doesn't seem as though he's the type to, you know, he's a king. He's not going to have a shouting up there. And oh, he doesn't seem to be shading, chasing you down. But as, he doesn't, we conf <laughs> as we confer. I'm sure he has the thing on his person. There was just a bunch of things, though, and I, I just 
pick the wrong one is all. Want me to go ask him? I'll go ask him. Just go beat, beat it out of him. Girls back. Um, so you agree it's the B team. Do you have an icon token thing? His head turns to you, Kanaka. <clears throat> I only carry with me the sad burden of responsibility. Only the stories of the dead linger on this island. Your token is not here. I ask you this one time. Leave. He says he doesn't have it. He's lying. <laughs> well. Before you continue. Start playing some sad music. <laughs> <laughs> Is he lying though? Is he lying? Nah, dog. Is he evil though? He's undead. <laughs> that you could be a good undead. You could be a nice. True, undead. especially in this world, in this realm. <laughs> I appreciate. But, no, it. he he is evil. If he it has begun. He gets stronger as your tune is sadder. Flying Snake told us that she gave it to this guy. He's gotta be lying. Maybe he was just asleep. He does look like a king. The point is, uh, we will have to dispatch him for his possessions. Yeah, that means kill. Do not okay. step any closer. I did it earlier, and I'm look, look at me, I'm fine. <laughs> I give Kanaka the butt slap of do your thing, big guy. <laughs> I would like to <laughs> jump some dirt into his face. Right. If that is your action, he, un he understands you're going to move forward, and then we're going to go on initiative. <laughs> Whoa. Right. Vin, would you like to take anything? You see Kanaka moving his foot. Time goes in slow motion, giving you a moment to react. Man, mine goes You're really telling me I'm first on initiative? <laughs> what the fuck yeah. did you guys do? <laughs> yeah, I'll never yeah. get to initiate something. <laughs> We're gonna toss fortune on the big man. Remember, it is difficult terrain until you reach uh, the clearing, until you reach dirt. I think that's all I'll do. Sure. It is his turn. I'll move up here, so I don't have to be worried about range as much later. He does a few... he does a thing. Give him a nice fireball clump. Do a thing! He draws his greatsword and readies himself for battle. Lambkin, it is your turn. I smite him. You smite him? And then I maintain this set- wait. This is the first round. 
Would I maintain the the performance now? Or yeah, you would cast it now, started? right? You cast it. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. So that was move. Uh, and then move up, I guess. Yep. So until you reach, you know, this spot, this spot. Think it half, would be right, right here because, yeah, half speed. Yeah. This is my full move. Whee! Go for it. I just lock eyes with him while playing a sad tune. Preparing battle. Kanaka? Wait, did you play the little ditty? Yeah, here's the ditty. Oh, though. yeah, here. Thanks. I didn't know you could apply the buff by pressing that button. Holy oh, shit. That's yeah, that's why I want it. It's easier. It offsets my depression. <laughs> yeah, if you take He's the buff so and you stick it into a macro, you can put it in the chat. And right. then it lets you apply buff. So, <laughs> just keep the buff off, brother. <laughs> Look at it. offsets your depression. Oh, yeah. I can shit. Can't shift in difficult terrain. Yep, you're in difficult terrain. No shifting. Oh, that's a is move. it like a theater seat thing where I'm big and I'm stepping over it, or it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. It's because of the jaggedness of this terrain with swamp, muddy swamps combined with misshapen tombstones. Uh, yeah. In that case, I'll just. Uh. Right, you're outside of it, but. You have both walked into range, and you have triggered his readied action. He swiftly turns around with his greatsword and swings at the two candles, taking the top of the, of the double wicks. And now, Lamkin, Kanaka... Oh yeah, Kanaka, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. wouldn't do this without Kanaka. From below, from the ground, hands reach out and grab you at your feet. However, that is a low-ass roll. 15 doesn't beat any of your CMDs, correct? Nope. Nope. Oh, what about your flat-footed CMD? Nope. Mm, no. You are not grabbed. I play the beating. You play the beating. As you play the beating, the cards begin to sparkle, and the two candles on the sarcophagus give a faint glimmer. Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> you go here. And then he says, Oh. Oh, the bold king, caretaker of forgotten souls. Seek retribution against the living, who dare to use the forgotten stories for their own gain. Curse you, and lay here forever. I'm not gonna lie, I catch maybe 75% of what you're saying. <laughs> Everyone else as well? Just a little bit, yeah. It's hard debate. to understand. Got it. I, I get that he's upset that uh, we're using the cards and he seems to understand what they are. He's upset that you're on this island. However, Tanaka, that was just a move, correct? Yeah. Alright. Next. That was like during my move. Do I still get the move? Yeah, you still Special get the move. Unless you got okay. grappled, you still get the gotcha. move. And this is still 20 feet? Yeah. Alright. Um, I'm gonna tail whip some sand in his eye, try to dirt rick him. This isn't your reach right. 10 feet? <laughs> As a large character? Uh, I have long arm on. Oh. Skanaka, he doesn't have eyes. He's got glowy bits in his face. Okay. <laughs> he does have glowy bits in his face. 
I am now highly intrigued to see if this undead barrier king will be blinded. How do you put fires out? You throw sand on it. Come on. The Hit him. It's there. Jeez. You throw dirt at his little glowy bits. And it just, he stands completely stoic as it falls off his face slowly. He does take 8 damage though because of how forceful that was. <laughs> some tail and some dirt in face. But he is not blind. <laughs> <laughs> he stares at well, you. His glowy bits are still glowing. I don't think it work. Seven pangs of longing. My turn? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can get. I was gonna. Are the candles out right now? Still? Yeah, they're out. He just uh, took the the tips off of them. There's still a bit of the wick, but the top half of the wick has been cut clean off. Oh, okay. I'll just go over here, trudge through. Are you in range? Oh, yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that's only one move. Yeah. Of six, but... And the moment you hit, get there. There's 28 oh. beat your CMD. Yeah. It grappled and takes seven damage. Does it care about mirror images or no? No, it does not care about mirror images. It cares about your. Feet. Oh no! I take how much damage? Seven. Seven. Seven bludgeoning. Let's try. Well, I hate that prestidigitation is only 10 foot range. I was going to use it to light the candles. Dang. Vin. Uh, well, since I'm not moving anywhere, can oh, I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you still have your standard. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, overwhelming grief. All right. One skilled. Actually, he, yeah. yeah. He is immune, but you know the drill. <laughs> we know yeah. the drill. <laughs> he gets a plus two. He gets a plus two. Well, technically a minus two. Plus two and then a minus four because I'm staring at him, but you know. Minus two then. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh. <laughs> Well, let's do this. He has failed the save, but will he fail the D100? Uh, 50 and below works, right? Sure. He's sad at 50 and below. He's happy. Yes, he still has to keep doing it every round. Sure. <laughs> he has to keep doing it every round, but he holds his composure. That's it. So stoic. Your turn, Vin. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit cross-legged on my uh, floating disc. So yeah. my feet are not in contact with the ground. Okay. And... and I go ahead and chuck out an ice storm. I hate you. <laughs> and cast Armageddon again. Ice storm, no save, he just takes damage and it's difficult. Yep. Just takes damage and it's difficult terrain. He might be resistant to cold or bludgeoning though. He's definitely resistant to cold and bludgeoning, actually. So there you go. Definitely. Oh, is it bludgeoning? Yeah, it's bludgeoning. Bludgeoning sure DR. Are DR works on it. Bludgeoning does usually beat skeleton DR though, yeah. Okay, so the bludgeoning goes through. Cold? Not so much. He's like a skeleton. Kind of. Only like a ske skeleton? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Is that it? You want to float on over somewhere? No, I'm, I can't move because Peshka is in the familiar satchel. On the case. <clears throat> it's a bit of Barrow's King's turn. And by his turn, everyone in range gets gets got Goog. And I cackle. Let me double check and see what happens to Seven Pangs of Longing. Still need to do it to seven panks as well. She gets it again, 
but just for it doesn't go to pin, it just does damage. Does 26 beat your CMD? Uh, Lambkin and Kanaka. Uh, uh, beats mine. And same with you, nope. Banks. If it beats it, you take 7 damage. Yep, taking 7. Take 7. Uh, what about you, Lambkin? Yes? Alright, you're grappled as well, you take 7 damage. Kanaka, you're literally too big for these tiny, tiny, tiny Grabbing hands. Grabbing my toes. Here. They're grabbing your toes. <laughs> we're going to shift over here. And we're going to... It's a difficult terrain, he can't shift. <laughs> He's gonna move <laughs> over there. Oh, I thought the dirt circle is not difficult. I put difficult terrain behind him. put difficult terrain behind him. Oh, just on him. Oh, gotcha. Don't worry, he's only gonna make one action here as he's going to start with Lambkin and cleave through to the big man. That's what he thinks. Guess what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you gonna parry him? Yeah. <laughs> His big ass great sword with my tiny rapier. Can we do it? Let's find out. You also grappled, so you lose dex. I don't lose dex, think about it. You do. It's minus two. Yeah, you take it, so it affects your attacking. Yeah, we'll see. Don't try and convince him otherwise. He lunges and cleaves. <laughs> I, and cleaves, there you go. <laughs> Ooh, a low roll on Lambkin. So 21 does not hit you, Lampkin. Correct? No, it does not. Go ahead and parry him. You did declare it. I did. And I don't think I can repost. You can't repost, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can parry, though. It works. I just need to show him that he's so weak. So weak. <laughs> Good job, Lampkin. Fuck him. I pushed that shit away. <laughs> <laughs> you push that shit away from me. Alright, Lincoln, it's your turn now. You're grappled. You wanna escape? Uh is it a move to escape? Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh oh. it's I mean that best I could just like move next to him. And that's annoying. Yeah, I don't really got a choice. Uh escape artist, right? Um, or, or is there uh, something a, else? It's a, what you call it, CM... It's a... CMB, isn't it? No, it's always Escape Artist. Or just Grapple, right? I think Escape Artist is your be best bet. I'm double checking, though. I always Escape Artist. Yeah, CMB would actually work out better for me in this case. Not by much. It's it's just a it's just a escape artist. Son of a beast. Unless Steven tells me otherwise, it seems like it's just a escape nope. artist. Right. Let's go, let's roll it. Yeah. Twenty-four? Art of shame do this thing. Unfortunate. You are grappled. Oh. I look at Kanaka. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out. I but certainly am not. I can still do this. Also, grapple is pretty fucking pretty hard. It's a minus two and minus two dex. Ooh, I remember my pains. You bardically perform. You start playing in front of him the sad music. I've been playing. Yeah. This whole time. You continue before, to. Uh, before Kanaka's turn, so did he. I see he's healthy, not full. Did you. I thought you said he was. Was he immune to that cold damage, or did he. He took the hands? bludgeoning. He took bludgeoning. Oh, okay. Can I. Can he take four more damage, please, and become confused? Possibly. Possibly. It's a key thing. It's a will save, correct? Yeah. DC 21. I get a minus 2 again. 
He gets a minus two. That's kind of cringe. He's fine though. He's fine. It's fine though. Good job. Good job. Hey, right, Kanaka. You're doing great, Barrel King. Alright, angrily swing. I go for it. Thirty-one, twenty-one, thirty-four. Uh, first one misses, second one misses, last one hits. First one misses? Goddamn. Oh, he lunged. First one hits. Lunge is AC, right? Oh, cleave is sure. AC as well. I think lunge is like a yeah. minus two AC. You hit. Wait. You got it. Might be a bad time to remind you I've depression uh so you take a minus two to all these because you have your it counters axe yeah, your thing you bardic miss... is already on yeah so you hit the second one luckily and the last one but luckily the damage is the same so i don't have to remove anything okay. <laughs> luckily it's 47 47 we're still good i have depression we're gonna heal a bit you know what i'm saying stop that <laughs> it doesn't do anything you need to stop that right now. He missed. Fangs. What are you going to do for me. over there? Help. You, reminder, uh -huh. it does create a concentration check if you want to use a spell, but your stairs and all your other mez things. So yeah, I don't need to. I already cast my one spell. I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I casted the one spell I needed. That's it. Uh, I'm reading of Mask Misery. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Does it suppress the grappled condition, unfortunately? Um, <laughs> I just don't believe you're holding me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will try to escape artist. Sure. Never mind. It's why is it a minus four? Oh, my! Because I'm You're delicious. That's, that, oh. <laughs> delicious. What? That's only for bite grapples. It's not oh, okay. for grapple. <laughs> it it just gives it to me in the sheet. Like, yeah, we'll give you. Though. We'll give you the plus four then. I actually can't succeed because it's still a <laughs> negative two total. Okay. Then you're just gonna be grappled forever unless someone takes it out of you. Help. Uh. Sure. You're delicious to bite grapples, you say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. The chime of opening doesn't like that. So this just locks. Okay. I'm I'm chilling. Uh, <laughs> Moral can support. I does uh, the total defense thing help with um, TMD? I don't think so. It's only AC dodge bonus. I can look it up for you. But I'll defense. do it anyway. Sure. You told me just in case he wants to go around and. <laughs> Cleave you and the Kanaka. Are you asking if total? Yeah, it's a dodge bonus, right? From total D. Yeah. Dodge bonus counts for CMD. And there you oh. go. I'll so it'll be easier. Vin, your turn. Um. Let's see, did I fortune? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, Kanaka's I fortune. fortune. No, not Kanaka. Then. Uh, Lambkin. Sure. Actually, let's misfortune this guy. Let's have some fun. <laughs> this guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. Just ruin his life. We're willing that. He takes a minus two. 28. Okay, he passes, okay. but uh, go ahead and re-roll that. Why would fun, I do you that? Know? Why would I do that? Just, just go ahead and do it, bro. <laughs> why would I do that? You gotta yeah, explain why. Because, because you have to. Alright, I'm gonna do it, but you have to tell me why still. So I activate Fate Shoes. Alright, alright, you win this time. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you next round. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, for everyone who's still in the radius, and Vin's kind of a coward for not doing this. <laughs> Come in, the water's fine. 15 to maintain grapple on all you guys. 
This 15 beats your CMD. No. Oh, no. no. Yeah, it's like super fun for me, you know, a guy with uh, 14 total CMD. <laughs> <laughs> My CMD is 15, but if I get that plus 4, then no. <laughs> I, I did it. It shows cor the correct action. Nice. You're not grappled for this turn. Nice. Very cool. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. <clears throat> Kanaka. It's time. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, I could have. Uh, as I say, I could have vital strike, but I didn't hit anyway. <laughs> Kanaka. Full attack. <laughs> Miss on the first one. Does 26 confirm a crit? That's just against AC. Just against AC. Yeah, but I have five mirror images. Let's see if this hits. You have five mirror images? Yeah. Oh, one did hits he, you. What? Did he not get misfortune? Yeah, you're he not did not get it. No, you didn't. You're not taking the minus two penalty to your AC, right? Uh, yeah, I'm he not. takes minus... Oh, because of repression. Yeah, it does not apply the AC. Yeah, no, 26 would still hit. Like, Kanaka's highest AC is 24, maybe. One hit, yeah. one hit, one hits Kanaka. Three, image down. Yeah, Kanaka, I go magic. It's not over yet, dog. As it, now he's gonna start bludgeoning you with his uh, with his arms and legs. There's 32 hit. Yes. There's 25 hit. Yes. All right, take uh, 10 and 12. Those are still against images, right? If you want them to be. Yeah. All right, one hits. All right, one image down. All right, one hits again. Another image down. You have two images. Oh, wait, just one oh. image left. Just you and the guy. And that that's only it. Three hits, right? One, two, three. Yeah, it's just against three. So I got two images. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep doing the number of what it is instead of just you and one. All right, Lampkin, it's your turn. Wait, hold on. How many rounds has it been? Uh, we're on round four, it says. JK, though. Uh, this is a little difficult terrain, right? Yep, it's all difficult yeah. terrain. You can jump it if you like. Wow, I probably could. I could do this weird shit. Frog stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna try some frog stuff. Just cause I know. Well, nah, he is here, but that flank. Half your moves, everybody. Flank would help everybody. Do what you want. Nah, we'll just roll a second. All right. Sure. Let's not be silly here. He was gracious enough to move up right next to us. I maintain. I full attack. Sure. What oh, is man. this comp? What nice. is this luck? <laughs> the comp of luck. And forced luck. <laughs> Hit. Crit. He's dying. Kanaka. Quick, finish him, Kanaka. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Minus two to all those. The first one hits. And he takes damage. He resists a bit of it. But. It is unfortunate. That with one cleave. His bones scatter across the ground. Sure. 
He definitely had it covered, but I don't know what it would have been. And light the candles again. The candles, though. With his death and his bones fading into wax, so do the candles. Before you oh. are able to light them, they too melt away. You'll never know. <laughs> Aww. That makes me so sad. But all the hands that were grasping at you with those candles also begin melting away. Oh, that's good. That was the goal by lighting it in the first place. I wonder if it would have worked. Quick, before it's not so yucky, reach into the goop and look oh. for the trinket. There's no trink. There's no token into his body. Oh, he might be buried in his sarcophagus. What is in his body? A great sword, a hand axe, a potion of water walking. You already got the elixir that he had. That's it. Unless you want really want the plus oh, one, Kate. <laughs> yeah, I'll unstitch his cloak from the thing and. <laughs> 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 yeah, congratulations, you have a plus one cloak of resistance. I'll give that to whoever wants it. No one. <laughs> I took the last one. I don't think Kanaka has one. Kanaka has a, I have a plus two. Oh, yeah, look at that. I was the head of the game. Put on Peshka. <laughs> nice. Peshka cannot wear it. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure Avian has a, a shoulder slot. Sure, check. I don't want to find it. All right, but I sure can't do it then. <laughs> oh well, that's annoying guess. to find that shirt. I guess I will just keep the cloak and just trade it with the mm -hmm. the yeah, power trader. I'll just keep it for on my on my person. Trade it with that guy. Sure. I can have potion of yeah. water walking. Yeah. All right. Let me give you Go guys. Let me give you guys all this. You're little. the worst frog mm. ever. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've told you, Kanaka, I'm, I'm not really a frog. I was not a frog. So make any sad. But also, you should maybe <laughs> take his swords, because we can trade those. Oh, you already put a double cloak resistance? Got you. Yeah, I've got it on my inventory. I already had one, so I just clicked the plus button. Alright, what's next? I found a treasure chest, guys. I'm gonna open it. Drink. How are you gonna? How are you gonna open it? I push the lid open. Got it. I just want to know if you're gonna smash it or not. <laughs> not yet. Is what you need to actually do it. So, what? Oh, did I fuck up? <laughs> yes, I did. Ignore him. He's not here. <laughs> Pop up. Ooh, that's spooky. Hey. <laughs> As you push the lid open, what comes shining through the darkness? A large ruby. The size larger than Lambkin's fist. Is massive, this ruby. It's big. Kanaka should carry it. It's red, it's big, it's meant for you. I uh, like it. You have taken the bard's heart. Oh. Look at the bard. No, well, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> but with that, as it comes up, it seems as though jumping from everyone's pockets, the tokens try their best to wrestle free, trying to meet with one another. Just one more. Just one more indeed. Well then. Now what? You're here, on this island. Beal Quest, version 2. We proceed to Marsley and beat her ass, take her stuff, force her to resurrect the paladin. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, is there nothing else on this island? Yeah, I want to explore the island. Yeah, go ahead. Who's the fancy one? Go ahead and explore the island. Can you do some grave robbing? Yeah, if you guys want to grave rob, grave rob. 
I guess if you, you Make Kanaka sure can go uh, fish out the snake, see if she had any cool. You shit. detect evil. They're still evil on this island. Explicit. Oh, <laughs> not just her. <laughs> <laughs> but explicitly, well, it's everywhere on this island. It's still explicitly in the clearing. But whatever is evil here has lied dormant. But it's still here. Still resonates. It's a grabby hand. The area has been desecrated. No. It's well, give me a knowledge religion check. The area has been knowledge religion. Well desecration can do this. It's not an area of uh, desecration. It is a haunt. You are standing at the, the, the area of a defeated haunt. But, like all haunts, you know, will come back. Unless explicitly defeated. Unless explicitly defeated. Well, to rest is probably a better term. Like, put defeat. <laughs> Well, no, I tri- defeated him. <laughs> we did it. I unlike do his body, what Lampkin okay. always does. Oh, unlike his body. What, what do you do? Unlike his body, he he's not really undead, right? He's a wax guy. He's a storykin. Got it. Yep. You go to that one. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Do you speak ancient Thessalonian? Ben. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now nah, you can do it. Sound it out. <laughs> Scribble, scrabble on here. I like that. Ben to teach you guys this. What's it say? What's it say? It's a simple. It's the first and last name. Viori, it's of an angel, and it says Viori Imlios. Ooh. I share with the class. Hey, you know it would be fucking spooky? If one of these scripts said Beovina. <gasps> Don't say that. <laughs> you want to look for Beovina's name? Look for me, all. <laughs> hey, go ahead. You can choose like Clint, yeah. all the. I have named all these tombstones. <laughs> it's, it's not and like Clint I just like, fucking Kanaka. pulled that out of my ass. It's. I actually named every tomb. Ooh. Every tomb has a name, Kanaka. But if one of them has yours, yeah. Put scribble down Bio Vena's name on a piece of paper, and I'll look for it. <laughs> if Vin obliges, you can have a. <laughs> A symbol of Bio Vena's name. Okay. All right. All right. How long would you want to do? You want to search for? And give me a perception check. State how long you want to do this for, and give me a perception. Timing uh, matters because you know, hunt will resurrect, but also you get it's oh easier. To, the, it's easier the longer you do it. Okay, Lamb. Can you look at the bottom one? I'll look up here. Lamp, do you I need a little note too? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, do you need a little note as well? <laughs> Let me start fucking checking every tomb. Yeah, I need a note. Go for it. We heard. I say no more than like ten minutes and just fucking running. Yeah, I just look tomb. until someone calls <laughs> me and they're sure. they're tired of me. Uh, I want to know how Lamkin tries to identify Bioven's name with the another note as well. Do you have comprehend languages or do you have? No, you that's speak? what I, I yeah I agreed to second note. I I was also bugging Ben. Ben, please the second one. How <laughs> much paper do you think I have? One day he'll say no. <laughs> and you have zero paper. <laughs> Wait, you have where, zero. Where do you want me to write this? <laughs> he just write it in my hand. <laughs> what back. pen? <laughs> I've got some pigments you can finger paint. Yeah. Right, let, me, let me write it down on your yeah. hand with the uh, pigments. Yeah. <laughs> Does that do anything? Nothing bad can happen from here. You haven't identified this pigment, pigment, have you? No. Wait, is this magic? <laughs> well, it was the most valuable thing we had. <laughs> what? 
Aside like, from the deck. That guy valued it at like 400. Yeah, and he was ripping you off. Oh, okay. Massively. Like, what the hell? Like, Can I try to identify this again? <laughs> Can yeah, you, like, sure. use magic to write in the air or something like that? Some kind of message <laughs> in the dirt. It is 15 plus caster level, correct? Yeah. Identification DC? Jesus. It tells me what it is here. No. Don't identify it. Vin, what the All hell? Right. Right. <laughs> if I can Vin over here, have to do literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> Vin! <laughs> What's up with these fireflies? <laughs> Vin doesn't know oh, either. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this might only be for saves. Still doesn't. Oh, it's just yeah, it's just for saves. Do you put Shit. the pigment on his hand? Yay or nay? But yeah. Like... Not... Oh well, I don't know about that. A ghost message. You can like write it in the air or in the dirt. I can just like. See yeah. what it looks like and go from I'll, there. Yeah, like I also have a sword and we're surrounded by dirt. You could literally just fucking ride it on the ground. Not as yeah. cool, but I guess. Oh, you can't really ride it on the ground unless you want to take a good amount of time to significantly uproot a clearing. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. There's this. Yeah, go ahead. Desecrate yeah. this area. <laughs> wait a minute, I forgot. You got a whole area you can desecrate. Kind of frosty over here, though. Oh shit, that's even more fucked up. Like, we're in a haunt, and we just wrote B.O.'s name in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story haunt. Does it count? Yeah. He's made an enemy this day. <laughs> right, so you write B.O.'s... <laughs> uh, Vin writes B.O.'s name. You guys look, uh, have your perception check. Give me a perception check, Landkin. Squiggly, squiggly. Got it. I'm so fucking good at perception. You guys do not find Bio Vena anywhere here. Okay. You see a bunch of words you don't know, but none match your symbol. Oh, it was Kanaka's. The Kanaka's is, is also Bio. <laughs> oh, his 18, no. yeah. You guys do not find any B.O. Vin, these fireflies are weird. What's up with them? <laughs> Knowledge nature. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> this isn't really my specialty. Shoot. Far <laughs> not your specialty. I do special plus 13. As far as you know, fireflies don't come in these colors, but they behave quite normal, like normal fireflies. Hmm. These are storykin fireflies? Yeah, technically they're not real. <laughs> they are fake. They're part of the setting. There's no, like, pattern to them or patch of colored fireflies that aren't anywhere else on the island. Well, if you look hard enough, you yeah. you can tell me if there is. You can look at them. Well, I'm yelling this at Vin, too. You know, defaulting to Vin, the brain. Vin <laughs> says no. Oh, he he knows no. There's no pattern. Okay. Aw. Dumb. Undead island. Nothing cool. I can't wait to find out there was something cool and we'll just never there know. There definitely is, but... It requires reading, uh, or... I hate reading. What is reading? You want to know where something cool really is? Where? <laughs> I point at the was... bottom of the lake. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering when you were getting to that. <laughs> the when... fly snake? No, yes, when the morning choir died. Her body fell in the hole you created in the bridge. What if she had stuff? That guy had potions. He didn't even have... She didn't even have pockets. Hey, you don't know. Maybe she was like one of those snakes that has pouches. Maybe she had like a kangaroo. It was, what was that potion you took off him anyway? 
I only know this one, which is... No, 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 the one that Seven lifted off him before the fight. It was an elixir. Can I identify it? It's already identified in her inventory. Oh, elixir and fire breath? Okay. Well, my Endure Elements is on for 24 hours, so... <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to? Oh. It was close to the edge. How deep could she have fallen? Uh, oh, okay, he left. <laughs> I was gonna be like, do we have room? But he's gone. It's like staring <laughs> into the void of space. You see blackness and stars reflecting. Even though there's no stars above. Ooh. It's pretty light. Pretty dark. Just uh, look for the, the shining sparkles of her corpse. Oh yeah, right? that's what that's what corpses do. Wait, this one does. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> the sparkles persist when they die? No. Oh, I kind of thought they did, because we played it and, like, the crows sparkled. Even though I played the card after they died. Right. Maybe that's why. You played it after we killed it. Okay. I cast light on my fez! <laughs> Your fez begins shining bright. Only one way to find out. You going in? I go in. Don't go too deep! <laughs> if you have a swim speed, give me a perception check. How bright, how far does light shine? Perception. 20 foot radius? Yeah. All right. Yeah, 40 foot technically. Uh, Your swim speed is 60 feet? Oh, yeah, you can get there hella, really fast. Right, you go all the, you go all the way to the bottom. So you go all the way to about three hundred feet down, and then it's a really deep lake. It doesn't seem like it should be this deep, but as you go all the way down, you do see a wax mush amalgamating at the bottom. I sift through the mush. As you sift through the mush, you just push it around and separate it and begins floating. And you see nothing except wax as the colors My depression from the wax kicks bleed. in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I kick off the bottom, swim back to top. Alright, another five rounds later, you emerge. It was just <laughs> wax mush. <laughs> hey, that's all right, bud. At least you came back. Of course I came back. I'm an alligator lizard man. Is uh, Seven what's going on a psychedelic trip there? <laughs> Yeah, if we want to bottle that up. Could be. It's it's there. It's deep. I take my empty potion of cure serious wounds. You sure. And nice. refill it. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and yes. for, for every empty potion bottle you have in the inventory, go ahead and just give me. Nice. <laughs> I only Give me have rainbow one. tears. <laughs> okay, you have a bottle of rainbow tears. I'm gonna oh. fucking take this elixir of fire breath and just uh -huh. drink it. <laughs> and then fill it up with this instead. Alright, you go ahead and down the elixir of fire breath. Ooh. And then you begin filling it up. <laughs> oh, right, right to land, you know, okay. Sure. It's a 2D map. It was in the air. It was cool. 
<laughs> you begin spewing fire from your mouth. Do you have a fire breathing mask? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's just like the it's just like the angry mask. <laughs> nice. So you breathe fire, you fill it up. You guys have two bottles of rainbow tears now. Ooh, we gotta make someone drink it. I look at Vin. <laughs> what? Vin? Can, can I interest you in a drink? <laughs> Are you trying to get me to drink it or identify it? I <laughs> Well, like the two things came in, but no, I, I, I just identify, please. It was already identified. It's a magical oh, okay. building components for uh, anything that's going to be illusion magic. It's going to aid you in it's crafting. crafting components. It's supposed to be for consumables like potions, but I get in reality you could use it on literally anything. Here's this. Here's the real kicker. Is it more expensive than the elixir I just drank? <laughs> Well, the, this is this is a this is this is a crafting component, so it's full value. Well, the elixir you would have to identify that as yeah. high value, right? <laughs> you erased it. Half this. It's about the same, actually. It's a uh, you have. It's only one hundred gold more. The elixir, the fire breathing okay. elixir. Okay. Ah, profit. Each unit of this would be would be worth five hundred for crafting. It's not profit. I lost mm. I lost about fifty gold. But that's okay. Theoretically, it could be worth more to someone who wants illusions. Wants crafting items with illusions. Or just wants to get really high. I yeah, mean, that one. What do you think? Is it time to see the queen? And get her high? Yes! Oh, that's how we get her. It, yeah, it would make her more pliable, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened? Did he identify, like, what happens when you fail the will save? Uh, so, failing the will save, that's known as, that's like a side effect, right? It's yeah. basically, you take a crafting mishap going on. So whatever happens in there, you know it's will save based and maybe illusion theme. You don't know. Uh, you didn't fail it. <laughs> if you like to fail it here, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll just, try it again. <laughs> you want to drink it? We have a few minutes. <laughs> you want me to keep trying till I fail the will save? <laughs> oh, you could you could choose to fail will saves if you like. You could choose to say I fail. I choose the fail. It works. Yeah, embrace the high, man. It's for science. <laughs> right. So you plunge your face into the <laughs> into the tears of the. Product. I just I just coat my tongue. Yeah, I'll take a healthy sip. All right. It doesn't taste good. It still tastes like ink, right? It's because uh -huh. you know it is not not real. However, uh, you choose the failure will save. Let me look at her casting level. Oh, he's. There's how we lost Kanaka. <laughs> and it was all your fault. I just put it out into the world. You agreed. Let me Google this. Right, you're good. So, the world begins shifting and morphing around you. The ground changes colors from dirt becomes metal. The bridge becomes a snake to a bookshelf. Everything that is is no longer what it should be. However, you are not high at all. <laughs> Everything, you don't feel giddy, you don't feel drunk. It's just Aww. like the world is wrong, and it's we not as it should be. It's like you're trapped being high without any of the benefits. Uh, 
That's way cooler benefit. There's no benefit going on here. However, uh, if it makes you feel any better, uh, it lasts for quite a long time. <laughs> Whoa, what does Lambkin look like? What does Lambkin look like? Yeah. Hold on. Food. A giant... <gasps> He becomes cooked all of a sudden. His green skin becomes charred and brown. Oh. Do I smell appetite? <laughs> <laughs> Milk up, please. I, I don't like the way you are looking at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it speaks to you. <laughs> so knowing that I joined this this trip. Uh, consciously, yeah. am I like convinced that this is all real, or like I'm aware that everything is you tripping out? You are aware out? that everything is tripping out. It's as okay. if it's the same thing as if you failed silent image will save. However, you you know it's an illusion. Someone has told you totally. that's not real. Okay. Oh, if there's a so wall. Cool. <laughs> if there's a wall in front of you, you just fucking have to stop and wait for it to yeah. go away. Oh man, this stuff's the best. <laughs> You're, you still have all your inhibitions. You're not high at all. <laughs> yeah, okay. I still like. <laughs> He's high on life, man. It's like if someone yeah. gave you, you know, like, when you look through a kaleidoscope or, you know, optical yeah, exactly. illusion. Like, you know it's an optical illusion. It doesn't make it any less cool or sure. less trippy. Yeah. Uh, there's no there's no high like the stuff Babushka has, but this stuff is Right. How? That wasn't me. Yeah, Slapped yourself. He slapped himself. I actually did. I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> Forehead slap. Oh, Lampkin. You look so delicious. Well then. Where to? Onward. You're going to <laughs> you're going to uh, Marzalis, correct? To Marzalis yeah. we go. Marzalis. God, we love Marzalis. Give her some uh, rainbow juice. It will take some time. It will take another day of travel, right, if you go at the full speed. So Biovena will be quite quite gone. Yeah, he's fucking gone, man. <laughs> Where like, the hell is he going? There's, there's he could be walking in circles. <laughs> basically applied his moves, his travel speed, right, while fatigued, uh, to the same rule set that I applied to the, the mobile fortress. He's just... <laughs> he's going. <laughs> except Are there that, any story can we pass by? Except that, that we... uh, if, I, if I make the mobile fortress go to the trackless dearth, it just stops. But uh, if I can, he stumbles on the trackless dearth, he just, he's done. <laughs> he he enters L done if he stumbles there. What is he doing? Why is he doing this? Why, what is wrong he's, with him? He's not doing this on purpose. He's just trying to find you guys at a very slow pace what? with a terrible survival score. <laughs> That's what Survivor. he's trying. To... He's trying to find you guys. Why did he go backwards? <laughs> he got lost. He failed by five or more. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Biovena! Don't you don't you understand the first rule when it, when you're a child that gets lost? You, you stay still. <laughs> no, does You told him to catch up. <laughs> you think <laughs> he said? <laughs> so he'll uh, catch up. He'll catch up. <laughs> he's I think he's gonna he's gonna stumble into the freaking. Cir the circus again. See the note and like just wander off completely lost. It just like doesn't help him whatsoever. <laughs> Gives him motivation to find you guys, but just makes it worse. <laughs> well, with that, it is eleven. So I want to call it here. Yeah. Yeah. Next episode. We're going to find Biovena for sure. It, this time. You could call it a filler episode, right? Because it's not the the main story plotline. You, you're tying up loose ends. It's a loose end tying up situation. Yeah. I mean, it is the main storyline. We're, we're missing a fucking token. 
Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But also uh, that you're going to go to, whatchamacallit, you're going to go to the trackless dearth. So if there's anything you want to do, right, any loose ends you want to do before you go to the striding forest for fortress or planning you want to do or strategy making, that is the time to do it. Uh, so did... If you want to go to the... You can stay here and have a beach episode if you like, right? <laughs> this is a body of water. Did Kanaka pick up the plus one greatsword and other weapon? No, nah, he's okay. No, I, I, it's yeah. gonna come, it. it's gonna to come up at the... I didn't push a button. Uh, yeah. Remember, if you have forgotten, all right, he does not find value in things that are here because they inherently do not work <laughs> outside this realm. Oh. So that plus one greatsword is literally just wax to him. Damn it. Damn you, foreign traitor! Damn. You, you can try and con them if you like. You guys like conning people. Oh shit, we can finish the uprising and play the cart. Hell yeah. I'm gonna free some slaves. <laughs> sure. I'll tell you, you that now. You could, you could show them how chaotic you guys are just by being like, we'll do a deal with you, and then fucking ruin your business so we don't do a deal with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I thought we, we, I thought we agreed we're not gonna do that. Because there's no point. Wait, you guys chose not to save the slaves from that episode? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, we didn't do the uprising. Well, because we we bought stuff from him, and he's like, we decided not to kill him. It's like, why would we just, like, punk him, you know? <laughs> yeah. It would be bad for future... <laughs> It'd be bad for future business if you slight him. <laughs> yeah. Ah. We wouldn't be able to do this after we got all... Now we're all flush with loot and stuff to go trade to him. Except we're not. Yeah, I was gonna say. Remember, Lambkin made them some vague promises, though. Yeah, he. <laughs> he did. Yeah, Lambkin has promise. acquired a large amount of guilt throughout Wait, so... this whole journey. <laughs> the trader doesn't want. He was he, he was willing to buy stuff earlier. He was willing to buy our yeah your real things. world magical life. Well, he wanted these pigments. Oh, is that why they weren't worth anything to him? Is because these pigments are technically wax, and same with. Yeah. Or what, I if anything that you loot that isn't real, right, from this world, is inherently not valuable to him. To other people, like other fake ass people, it, you can be like they're valuable, right? Because they don't know better. Mm. Oh, in that case, yeah, I'd definitely take that sword. Might find a use for it. The the, the sword works as a plus one great sword in here, but when you leave, yeah. no, it doesn't. Got it. I think you. Uh, yeah, I think you might have accidentally forgotten that this cloak of resistance I'm wearing, I just bought from that centaur. Yeah, it still works. Oh, okay. This. Oh, this is real. No. Oh. They. They just it, work here. But he was. The the foreign trader was willing to buy it for half price. Is what I'm saying. Oh um, well. <laughs> I think that was that was just a a, a mo mistake. Why'd Probably. You, why'd you yeah. gaslight him? If I didn't uh, make a, a praise check, right, it doesn't matter because he has to appraise everything to know it's fake. Oh, okay. But you could say he passes it all. Well, he kids fail. But uh, what should we call it? Everything, everything you could treat as magic items for the concern of this campaign, except for him. Right? When you leave oh, this yeah. world, it's over. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just saying I need the achievement unlock for starting the revolution and playing the card. I think you need a real moral dilemma here, right? Because Lamkin's, Lamkin's not a lawful good character. His actions aren't lawful good, but none of this thing, no, nothing here is real. So, <laughs> what does this mean? That's how I've been about it the whole time. I'm good, <laughs> but every time I really have to think about it, it's like they don't exist. I've been trying so hard, but I am the anchor on the team. Yeah. Only really the conspirators you can say are like, you know, real people because they have sentience. They have knowledge of. Yeah, which is why I wanted 10 rounds of diplomacy. We just couldn't have it. And then I knew I was going to be dropped. You could have so. had it. You just don't, <laughs> just don't crit them. You just don't crit her. Seeing as you could have had 10 rounds of diplomacy, but then you realize the, the rules took. To convert someone from evil to good takes months in game. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have months to be hugged. <laughs> Why not? So, uh... She was going for it. <laughs> Why not? She not? wanted to be changed, Lambkin. 
<laughs> you just wouldn't she, hug her. Enough. She was changed. She was changed into a puddle of wax. Oof. <laughs> that's Ooh. fucking evil. Damn. <laughs> that's hard for Big. You just murdered someone who gained sentience and realized the oh, her existence her is shit. Her wrongs of her life. <laughs> she realized the world outside is shit, her life is shit. You just murdered her for it. That's I up. put her out of her suffering is another way you could look at it. Just she, saying. She already stopped her suffering. She gave the bard's heart up. She was, that was only the latent crying. She could add more. Let's... Can we agree that we're gonna beat Marzali's ass, but we're not gonna kill her? <laughs> Good luck. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Have you See, seen this guy? Uh, <laughs> Have you seen oh, that's actually my my profession. I beat people into changing their minds. Like you did, the, like you did the morning choir. Oh wait. Wait a yeah, minute. Uh, that's when. <laughs> <laughs> that's when Kanaka reverses his blade and goes full uh, Rurouni Kenshin. <laughs> You can, uh, you may not know this, Johnny, but you can deal non-lethal damage if you like. You just take a penalty to your attack roll. You can, you All just right. gotta say, I hit with the hilt of my axe or whatever. It'll be it's non-lethal. It's minus four. Is it still like slashing? Yeah, it's still slashing damage. It's the damage uh -huh. type is still the same, but no, we know the damage type turns to non-lethal. Non yeah, non-lethal is its own type. Yeah, yeah, it's its own type. So it'll yeah, turn to non-lethal. You just hit him. He's totally like a uh, follows his orders type. So if someone says, "Yeah, we're we're taking this person alive," then, yeah, it's for him to follow. Absolutely. That. Okay, we I, I, we need Marsley. Mm -hmm. If if we're sparing the clock, dude, we might as well spare Marsley too. Because really, just it's just those two maintaining this whole place. <laughs> it seems like. So hey, without well, them, kind of this place is flat. Well, you accidentally kill Marsley and just leave the only people alive, like in the foreign trader and the Bernadette, so you just rule by shady people. <laughs> it's all saying that it's just shady people <laughs> to determine as, as well. As opposed to... Like, Marsley's not shady. shady. Marsley's not shady at all. She's very straight. She's, she's just crazy. She's, very, yeah. she's, she's just crazy. She's bad shit crazy. <laughs> That's not shady, though. Try to kill yeah, us not... as soon as she saw us. Yeah. But that is some straight up, like, paradoxical shit. Can she be reborn into the world if she is the rebirther? I don't. Yeah, no is the answer. I think. I think no. I don't know the answer. But is it like value. something that could be taught to the? What was her? Her the midwife is what we. Yeah, call the it. midwife. <clears throat> mm, give me. There's some knowledges you can roll for that. Hmm. Hmm. I look expectantly at Vin. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should give you a knowledge check, because with everything you know so far in this campaign, you can actually infer. So a knowledge check would be like giving you a hint. What was the question? If we, yeah. uh, if Marzali could possibly be re resurrected uh, if we kill her, and I say no, I'm... Uh, but the other question, too, was like, question. could uh, the midwife learn how to do what Marzali is doing? Since she yeah, kind of already does. Yeah, like her. And she gained the powers. Yeah. And Marzali has. I mean, I guess that would be convenient. She's a lot more stable. Right. She's only stable though because now. she's been maintained, right? Because she's beloved by Marsley and she oh, maintained God. her. Oh, God. Yo, because she's not reset? Well, someone can maintain yeah. her. You can stay here forever, Kanaka, as the replacement Sanrae and just maintain people from going insane. Hell no, there's no food. <laughs> Only peaches. I wait to see what you did. No joke, that, that might be how Seven Ping story ends. As a baby, a glorified babysitter. If she gets to control and write this world, then uh, yeah, hell yeah. Have that. And what makes you think you're able to control this world? What happens if we eat the eaters? Ooh. What? So the whole thing was that they killed. Sonare and ate her. 
and divided her powers amongst themselves. But what happens if we secondhand eat Zonere by eating the conspirators? Well, they wouldn't taste good, I'll tell you that. It still tastes like whack. Or do they? Well, this is the tears of one of them that tastes like wax. Want to try some? <clears throat> it's gonna last. Also, the high is gonna last for twelve hours. By the way. Fuck yeah. Cool with that. It's one hour per cast level of her body. I'm gonna need you to <laughs> plug in the AI art of everyone and tell me what they look like. Show me what they look like. <laughs> Constantly While shifting. I'm... Oh yeah, you will be technically moving as if you're blind, half speed, because the floor constantly changes on you. A wall appears in front of you. It's just, it's just oh awful. Oh my gosh, it's great. It's like someone's casting silent image on you constantly. It's awful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go eat before it gets too late. True. GG right. everybody. GG. Good night. Thanks for watching, everyone. Next time, Marsley's stop slapping each other.